Hey, everybody, just wanted to point out we got a Patreon pod where this week we settle the score with Swolby, who's right here getting his Buffalo Trace topped off. It's a good episode. You guys got to watch. We settle the beef. Uh, we talk about the beef. It's a lot of fun. Subscribe. We even, link uh, down below. You could say we even pushed a little bit of pee. Yeah, we definitely Leo, pushed Leo, pee. Uh, Leo gets uncircumcised. I got uncircumcised on the pod. <laughs> got to subscribe Wait, to see it, though. He gets? He already is uncircumcised. Right? I mean, no, I get. He gets circumcised. circumcised <laughs> Sorry, the it's the Buffalo <laughs> Trace, people. It's the Buffalo subscribe Trace. Subscribe down below. Smelling salts for Ooh. the boys. So much to talk Ooh. about this weekend. We. Did a video dedicated to the book, The Game, on pickup artistry. Fez and I met up with the legendary Ross Jeffries, who was like the central figure Woo! in the and game. He hypnotized Fez. We took Fez pussy hunting. Yeah. To uh, mixed results. Very mixed results. Um, very mixed. It was, uh, you know, some girls started getting hostile when we approached them with such a nice little offer. I had to toast a girl. I toasted a girl for us, let's, for the boys. But Let's back up a little bit. I yeah. want to start the day, maybe. Everybody will see the Ross Jeffries his hypnosis, but Leo came into the shoot on Saturday, because I shot Friday and Saturday, and the first thing we did with Fez is we're like, hey, we got to help this guy overcome his fear of rejection. And there's no better way to get somebody over their fear of rejection than to make them wear a hockey mask with condoms dangling out of all the holes. And he was offering girls uh, this trick gum on top of it. So it was... Uh, the it was the gum that snaps you when you try to pull a stick out. <laughs> yeah. It was, uh, it was an exercise. It was like a drill in sports, you know what I mean? You, maybe it was like hitting those dummies in football, you know what I mean? He needed to do reps of just getting rejected as much as possible, as quickly as possible, in order to get over that, Right. Leo, is it safe to describe the look in women's eyes when they turned and saw Fez <laughs> lurking over them? Is it fair to describe their look as pure, unadulterated terror? Yes, especially because when he talks, you know, it could be like this man could be deranged. You know what I mean? Like, is, is that an accent? Is that just the voice of a very, very crazy man? You don't Muffled know. by the hockey mask. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you want a gun? <laughs> Do you want the gun? This Asian girl in an oh. Urban Outfitters looked like she might have shit herself when she turned. Like she was so scared of Fez. Yeah, if she was on her period and like sneeze, like just it might a little blood might have dripped out. Like oh, yeah, she might have <sighs> popped the tampon out like a cork. <laughs> so we got Fez uh, used to rejection, which is good mm -hmm. because uh, there was uh, an avalanche of it once we got to the bar that night. Yeah, I kind of want to do one of those things like in the movies where you start at the finished product and then kind of backtrack because let, this is where the night ended for Fizz. Leo is on the sidewalk. It, oh, on the sidewalk. Yeah. And he's Just, not, he's not taking a nap there. Is he Leo? He wasn't taking a nap. It was a very unfortunate KO. Uh, he got hit from behind. You got uh, knocked out. A Fez? Yeah. Someone hit me right here in the cheek. And he just went down? I think you'd have a hell of a chin. I think... Uh, so you take a bunch of rat dick punches. No, it no, was no. messed up, dude. A bunch of... This is why you don't get in fights nowadays. Yeah. Because these guys got jumped. I was able to help kind of break up Dino's fight. It was like freaking 14 dudes going from a frat house. And yeah, exactly. Down. And they were all attacking from behind. In those kind of situations, I do believe getting away from it and just leaving is the only thing you can do in L.A. You don't want to risk that some guy has a gun, which often is the case. You know what I mean? You don't want to risk that somebody has a knife. You don't want to risk getting concussed really, really bad on the ground, stomped out and killed. You just leave the situation. When that happens, you leave. So let's back up and maybe describe why we were a target for other men. Yeah. We showed up. peacocking. We were peacocking as hard as people can peacock. Yeah. I was wearing a fur coat, a top hat, flight goggles, one boxing glove, and one rollerblade in a bar. <laughs> the rollerblade uh, was out of control. I mean, you were gliding on it most of the night, so I don't know how people didn't notice it. Uh -huh. I don't know how they let you in. See, that's, that's part of the problem with that bar is the, fi the fact that the Victorian let everybody in uh -huh. was why there was fights galore. But, like, they let Danny, Danny in with one rollerblade, yeah. a cowboy boot, 
a ridiculous headdress. Oh, I don't yeah. Know where you were. Yeah, uh, Leo was peacocked out, too. Yep. Fez was dressed up like a big Pikachu. Mm -hmm. He was wearing a Pikachu hat, he had his face painted, and he was wearing yeah. a bright yellow shirt. And me and Austin, at some point, XL. when we were looking for him, the thing about Peacock, it was working because everyone knew who he was. Oh, yeah, I did see that guy. Oh, I did see the Pikachu guy. I did. I don't know where he is, but I did see him. Yeah, see, usually peacocking Fez is a way to attract women toward you, and they can comment on, oh, hey, I like this, or oh, you're so crazy. For us, the purpose of peacocking was like, I don't know, um, why you put a an orange floaty on your keys when you're out boating. Mm -hmm. It's to find the man overboard. Because mm -hmm. Fez would just wander off and probably throw up into a bush. And yeah. we would have to go find him. Right. You looked seasick all night, Fez. The problem is you had about four drinks and then you just could not speak any language anymore. That was the main problem. Because we, I would introduce you. We introduced you to some women a couple times, yeah. and it was just like, "Hello, Hermione." Fair. What? Excuse me. We couldn't understand anything you said. Nothing. What do you have to say for yourself, Fez? I was wasted. What can I say? Well, next time, I think an upper for this guy. I think uppers only for him. Yeah, I think you got to do what we've been telling Rat Dick not to do. Right. You just got to be doing cocaine and Molly all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, cocaine and Molly might stimulate his brain. He might like be like an English guy from friggin' London, dude. Oh, hello. I'm Fez. <laughs> yeah, I'm an avid Pokemon card player. I like to collect them. I live with a 48-year-old construction worker in a hellhole of an apartment. <laughs> but you know what? I'm still happy. It's really nice. Put him on it's not a hell home. lose some weight. That's that too. Do you know that too? Now I, I now should we discuss the fight like a little bit more in detail? Yeah, or just kind of. I want to hear about it because when I was with you guys, I branched off later in the night. Mm -hmm. Everybody loved us. Yeah, there was no animosity at all. Actually, right. Danny, that's not true. Some no, of the guys yeah, who would jump us were like us. wanted to know who the hell were you, and they wanted to like do something, and I told them like, no, yes, it was okay for the sir. Okay, so, so all the guys that I remember hanging out with when we were on the main the floor, guys, they the were like dapping really us cool. up, fans of the channel, yeah, cool guys. Pictures, yeah. Did any of those guys later end up in the brawl? No. This I, is a new crop of it guys. It was a new yeah, crop of guys that I, all I saw was Dino on the ground. I was with Fed having a cigar. I saw Dino on the ground. I went and broke that up. Five other guys I was came. On top of him, you just said get off him. And well, he I was like, he, like he was grabbing you. You were grabbing him. I broke so you guys how did, up. How did this start? I can explain it. Like, yeah, I, okay, I think he knows that. Yeah, happened. Austin knows the beginning. I know what of it. happened in the beginning because it, it was because of my crocodile hat. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and like at the beginning of the party when we first got there and we're all in costume, the, these same guys came up to us and they're like, "So what do you all have all these costumes on?" And so these like, guys get zero pussy. Is that safe to assume? Yeah, they yeah. were like jealous but of then there was just a girl. like having a good time yeah, yeah. and they were like, Oh, they think these outfits are actually gonna get them chicks, like blah blah blah. And me and Salt Team were like just like joking around, like, yeah, like these Well the answer is fucking yes. Yeah, there's evidence <laughs> of that. Yeah, there's a little plenty of so many women coming up to me. They they were, that crocodile. Huh? We were the life of the party. Like yeah. you, you cannot pay for the amount of female attention we were getting. Yeah. Just dressed up like complete fucking assholes. Yeah. Also, <laughs> because these guys' night ended in a bar brawl, I know they get fucking zero pussy. Exactly. That's what happens. Yeah. Guys that don't get pussy, they try to fight, or, or you know, it's it, there's anger inside. They fight. But also, as Louis C.K. said, the most dangerous guy is a guy who didn't get laid at two a.m. <laughs> there's just jizz leaking yeah. out of his eyeballs. Like yeah. fuck you. What are you looking at? <laughs> um, also, to to put to paint the picture a little better for the people that don't know from L.A., like uh, the, the Victorian has now become uh, it's been a long standing bar in Venice, but it, it's now a college bar. Like it's a, it extremely like me and Danny were the oldest guys there. Maybe there was one other guy that was older than us, Fez. But like there was literally <laughs> everybody else was like. You know, Austin and Dino's age, pretty much. I yeah. mean, right? Would you guys agree? There was yeah, literally yes. no... So yeah, really on funny. animosity for, like, a group of older guys coming out and taking chicks, that happens. But that, And I don't know why they took it out on you guys, but I know Saltine was involved, and I'm pretty sure he might have instigated it a little bit. No, because, like, basically what happened is Dino was just walking around, and since those guys were being haters, they just ripped his crocodile hat off of his head. Mm-hmm. In like well, slowly. that was the second. The, all right, the first time I was like kind of solo by myself walking through the party, mm -hmm. and then someone snatches my crocodile helmet, and mm -hmm. then like I try and look, but they're like already gone. So okay. then I get saltine. I'm like, yo, 
Help me find whoever fucking took okay. my crocodile hat. Yeah, that, that, that might have been that the f- I bought for you for fifteen dollars yeah. on Amazon. It's a precious item. <laughs> and then I got that shit back, but it was like some cool guys. They were different guys. They okay, just, so they th- said they found it on the ground. Did you hear that from Danny though? Like next time, it's probably not worth getting into a fight over a crocodile hat. And also, I want to say that Dino, this. I kind of doubt the story that Dino was attacked unprovoked because Dino earlier in the day went up to two gentlemen he did not know and he told them, quote, I took your mom to market and I swapped her straight up for a bag of dirt. <laughs> you told me to do that. I did. Well, you yes. did it. But your delivery was, it was almost like it was from your own soul. But it no, was almost like you said it. That is like what happened though because they see us, they don't like us, but they don't want to fuck with you and Danny. Yeah. So they just decide to go fuck with like the littlest dude and try I, uh, to like that's be how a it is. bully. It's like just these frat guys that were being bullies right. basically. Yeah. Even when I was breaking things up, I guess I didn't, I, to be honest, I did not see you get you're at, like hurt Austin but I did not get touched so so how did again Austin how does it first start yeah okay, how does it so first yeah. start? I want to hear the big bang moment get to the point all right so the, the, de- who- the dinosaur hat saltine let's continue all right yeah so we got the hat back and then me and saltine are like talking to some chicks back mm-hmm. where we're like where we, where we were talking at the beginning by mm-hmm. the bar what was saltine saying yo like I'm gonna start a clothing empire it's going to be a shirt with a salt shaker on it, and Putin's going to be shaking it out onto a salad. <laughs> I don't think it was that. I think it's more like, you're ugly. Uh, you're not hot enough for you're me. Not, you're, you're complete, I'm completely out of your you're, league. Like, like y- y'all bitches are tripping. Like, dude. I'm fucking salty. I'm pee. I push pee. You know what that means? <laughs> that's more accurate. That was yeah, more, yeah, that's, yeah. Is that more like that? Basically yeah. what he was saying. And then uh, my hat gets snatched again, so this time I turn around fast and uh-huh. like grab the back of his shirt. Okay. I'm like, yo, give me my hat back. Sure. And I grab it out of his hand. Mm-hmm. And then his friend next to him is like, what the fuck are you going to do about it? Oh, uh, here what we go. Fuck it, a loser. <laughs> and then I'm like, fuck retards, it, bro. Retards. And then they g- both grab me. Yeah. And I'm like, get your fucking hands off me, f- Okay, of course, yeah. Bleep well, that, Austin, Austin, can you bleep that? Yeah, Austin, bleep that. I, not that it was uh, unwarranted. No, right, it was but warranted. But we still on the podcast have yeah. to bleep it. I I do remember you thinking Austin? that both of you guys need to switch to contacts. I did find both of your glasses. You guys have to both give me credit for that. We're I'm already getting ahead of ourselves. Yeah, no, yeah, so yeah. what happened next, Dino? And then I, like, grabbed the first guy who stole my hat by the throat and, like, pushed him back, and then I swatted the other guy whose arms off me. Okay. And then they come back and they're still talking shit. And then I like smack the guy's drink onto the ground Uh-oh. and then Saltine uh, throws his drink nice. into the other guy's face. face. That's you gotta give that to Saltine. Is Saltine is a homie when a fight breaks out. Yep. Yeah. Unlike, Saltine. Unlike someone sitting next to you who <laughs> you know, I, just keeps making excuses that oh well you should I'm not fight. gonna throw I mean, a punch. Your homies are all getting jumped. I, I was breaking up my job was fighting. to break up the pu- the fight, look at my six, make sure I didn't get hit. Drink. I'm not gonna throw a punch for Saltine, dude. I, I don't think that that's smart, man. Man. I mean, I'm serious. It didn't I'm, get like that it, heated. Like yeah. it broke up again. Right. And then like it we wasn't that heated people, either. Yeah. Uh, and they're like, man, that was crazy. Those guys are assholes trying to take your hat, blah, blah. And then the guys are just white college dudes, white frat boys. Yeah. 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 She's younger than us. Just like yeah. college frat boy pussy. Guys. There was Muslim. Yeah. There was like not there Muslim. Was there was some Middle that. Eastern guys. There were too. Middle Eastern guys who just jumped into the fight to beat people up that literally were not yeah. a part of this at all. Right. Okay. This is they wanted to show their support, their solidarity with ISIS and their attack this weekend. They just <laughs> wanted to get their licks in and then they ran away. It was like uh-huh. actually crazy. OK, so that's what's going on. So some then, drink swat. That's okay. That's all in good fun. When does Fez get KO'd? Well, that, that well, comes, comes a little later. bit later. It comes a little later, Dino, yeah. explain about the chick attacking yeah, yeah. Saltine. Well, yeah, the chick, like, she comes up like a little rat and keeps, like, a fucking attacking us and swatting Saltine's hat off. And She's like, with chilling. the frat guys? Yes. No, she, like, co- she runs away from them to, like, att- like yell at us. And then she That's runs the back to them. The worst is a chick who does the fighting for guys. Yeah. Who, when you're talking shit to dudes, gets between you and gets in your face and puts hands on you. I fucking... There needs to be a hit a woman, get out of jail free card reserved for those situations. There's a lot of Twitter videos that show that. So that's it's been happening more and more, especially as they get more. Yeah, and so if you're black, I feel like you can cold. Yeah, and they, that's usually what it is. It's a black man hitting a white woman. There's a lot. Of oh, that's fine. Twitter. Yeah, it's that's totally fine. OK. Yeah, yeah the, the intersectional hierarchy. But yeah. if you're like if it's black on black and you just drop a bitch like that's it's all good. Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. For sure. And if it's black on white, and you just drop a bitch. It's all good, dude. Yeah, that's that's yeah. definitely one of the upsides of being black. 
But basically, nobody hit her. Like, she tried to push Saltine, and he, like, deflected her arms, I guess. Yeah, she's trying but, to, like, steal his hat, and he's like, yo, get away from me. What the that fuck is, are you doing? What the fuck? She's and just some she, college bitch, right? And then she yeah. runs back to her boyfriend and tells her, or tells him that, like, Saltine pushed her on the ground or something. Yeah, she goes and tells okay. her boyfriend that Saltine hit her. Oh, my God. And then tells her boyfriend that Saltine groped her. Okay. And then I come up, and the guy is, like, bitching out Drop Dead Jed. And I'm like, what's going on? He's like, they just got our, they just got the homies kicked out of the bar. Cause like that guy went and snitched to the secure, to the security yeah. that Fez was, that, that Saltine was going around groping women These and guys like sound raping awful. women. And then I was like, who did they? Cause, it, cause I was like, what? They got kicked out. What for? And then the, uh, and then the guy was like, well, you should probably tell your friends to stop fucking raping chicks and i was like okay what did he, leo wait do? wait he used I, uh, he, I immediately assumed it was leo he used that <laughs> he used that word the r word yeah he said well you should tell your friends to stop raping chicks and i'm like whoa whoa, uh, yeah. whoa. and then like, i looked at drop like that i was upright like right in a crowded bar saltine pulled off a is that what he's accusing uh, him of yeah okay i was like what are they talking about did yeah. leo do something he's like oh, no okay. they're talking about dino and i was like what and i was like you think my little brother with the dinosaur hats going around groping women? He's too afraid to even talk to his well, he shit. Well, should, he should probably change his shirt if he's going to defend himself on those grounds right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Gamma Delta Rho Sigma. That is Greek alphabet. And then the chick goes, no, no, no. It's the guy with the long hair. And I was like, Saltine? Like, what? That's retarded. Saltine's not going around groping chicks. Jesus And Christ. then the guy, like, that's we're still, like, arguing with us, his homies all, like, come up. And he's like... Yeah, man, that guy, like, he's, they're over there, like, they're, like, groping chicks and, like, raping chicks. And they're like, we need to go fuck them up. And then, like, they run off. And I'm like, t I turned to his girlfriend. I'm like, do you realize what you just did? Like, how fucking stupid you are? Mm -hmm. And then she was like, I was like, you, you seriously think Saltine is, like, fucking groping chicks? And she was like, oh, I mean, actually, like, I hit him first. Like, he didn't even really do anything. And I was like, well, now your boyfriend's about to get fucking, like, knocked out because you just don't know how to keep your mouth shut. And then I ran off and to go back Saltine out. and all you guys up because y'all were <laughs> outside of the bar. Not Danny, but Leo and them. Mm -hmm. And then as I was, like, making my way towards Leo because I saw his big hat. Yeah, I was down in the basement on a mission at this point. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was on With a the mission. Was on, I was, was on, on a mission. Diamond. They made me take my rollerblade off eventually. Damn. But thankfully, I made Fez carry my extra cowboy boot yeah. all night. Yeah. He just had a cowboy boot. It's like, I carry these for a friend. <laughs> so I came and found Pikachu <laughs> fucking bobbing around through the yeah. crowd looking seasick. Yeah. And I was like, hey, give me my boot. And then yeah. I went back on my mission. Continue, though. What's up, guys? Let me tell you first second before we continue the part about prize picks first of all i don't need to say much because you guys love them but they're the biggest daily fantasy sports platform in north america the best thing about it is you're not going against other guys and stuff you're going against the numbers all right you're not battling the sharks the pros all right you pick more than or less than on a two to six player stat projection and watch the winnings roll in all right right now you got Football season may be over, but the action at the floor is heating up. Whether it's tournament season, it's tournament season. You guys know what's up. Or the or the fight for playoff home court. There's no shortage of high-stakes basketball moments right now. You guys got to get in on there, right? Get in on the excitement with Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app. All right? Now, you also got, it's the best way to get action on sports in more than 30 states across the country, including California, where I'm at, Texas and Georgia. All right. You can also, uh, you want to play alongside some of your favorite prize picks, favorite players like Meek Mill or Sugar Shane O'Malley. You can now find, this is really sick. It's really fun. Community plays under the promos tab of the app to view entries for some of the biggest names of the prize peaks community each week. You can see what like Sugar Shane O'Malley is like picking in and you can do the same thing. Easy. You just like be like me and Sugar are going to make some money together. Also, the best thing about it, in my opinion, is like you can put these things in in under 60 seconds. So it could be like right before the game. You're just like, oh, damn, oh I forgot. Oh, hell yeah. I want to have a little more fun. Do, 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 do. In. Boom. Done. And it's really easy. It's laid out perfectly for you guys. All right. Now, um, also, there's quick with withdrawals, easy game plan, enormous selection of players and stat types are what makes prize picks. It's the number one. It's the number one daily fantasy sports app out there right now. It's like by far, like easily the number one app. So, guys, listen, uh, they love you. They love us. They've given us a really good deal, too. So I think you guys need to do this. Download the app today and use code LDS. 
for a first deposit match up to $100. You put in $100, they're going to give you $100. You put in $50, they give you $50, $20, you know what I'm saying? But put in $100, why not? They can give you a free hundo. All right? So download the app today and use code LDS for a first deposit match up to $100. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. You guys got it. Go to Prize Picks, download the app today and use code LDS for the first deposit match up to $100. Check it out, guys. Prize Picks. So they start like going and jumping saltine basically, and I'm running over there to like back up them. And then this like Arab dude just runs out of nowhere and clocks me in the back of my head. Like I didn't even see him at all. Like literally just cheap shot at me in the back. I think of the that's head. the same guy that might have cheap shot at Fez later in the night. Yeah, and then Swolby yeah. sees me squaring up with this guy, and we're like swinging on each other. So Swolby takes his jacket off and like gets up in his face, and the guy like runs away into the alley. Mm-hmm. So then me and Swolby. So you're outside around. the bar now. Yeah, we're all outside the bar. What, outside. Do you know what time this is, roughly? Around, like, I want to say 1 in the morning. 1 in the morning. So the bar is not closed yet. You guys are yeah. leaving. Yeah. Okay. I got kicked yeah, well, out. Yeah, well, they got kicked out. Dino got kicked out. As soon as Dino and, and Saltine got kicked out, uh-huh. I went outside with them. Sure. So the Arab guy flees after sucker punching Austin. Yeah, so then we go back over there, and then the Arab guy goes, like, around, like, the whole parking lot, basically, across the street. And then runs up and just cheap shots Fez out of nowhere yeah. like from the shadow realm. I saw him, and then he out. did once again. He bounced. This guy's like and a then, Native American fucking blow dart yeah. shooter, dude. So, Fuck this guy. Now, I'm, I'm going to tell you what I think you should do from now on is avoid fights in any place. Well, we're not done yet. Yeah, oh, wait, there, dude, there wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's, let's keep talking. Yeah. Let's, before, we, before we talk theory of fights in general, I want to mm-hmm. hear how this ends. So yeah, yeah. you get hit in the back of the head, Fez. Then what happens? I got up and then as soon as I, I saw Saltine getting hit by that white with a white shirt, I grabbed the guy, pushed him aside, and he says, I'm going to problem with you. I'm going to problem with you. I got a problem with your friend. I don't care. You, that's my friend. He, he says, he said you. he didn't have a problem with you? Yeah. The guy, but didn't he just punch you in the back of the Quit holding no, that no, mic no. like a cock that you're about to suck. There. No, the guy that punched him in the back of the head just immediately runs away afterwards. He's just yeah. getting a lick in and then dipping. Did this knock you out? Was this the blow that knocked you out? No. Okay. So the guy says, I don't have a problem with you. I have a problem with Saltine. What yeah. happens next? So as soon as I saw them getting down and dirty, I was like, no, I'm not going to let you hit my friend because he's smaller than you. Look at you. You're like freaking... Bodybuilder at this point against Saltine is a skater boy. Come on now, I'm not gonna let that. You're not gonna let your, somebody fight your skater boy friend. <laughs> Saltine's a skater <laughs> boy. She said, "See you later." <laughs> Our guests are here, He's by the way, so we should the... should try to wrap this up as All quickly right. as possible. All right, uh, okay. So, um, Fez, when did you get knocked out? Let's just talk about that. Um, I just got knocked out from behind. I was the same drunk. guy. No, the no, same I, fucker? No, no, no. It that. wasn't that guy. He, he was, was he's, a mean guy from behind. No, I'll he never saw really the guy. Quickly. Uh-huh. Yeah. So basically, they're kind of scrapping. Dino ends up on the ground with the white guy who started the about. whole thing. Dino punches him like five times in the face, elbows him in the face. And then this giant, like 35, 40 year old man just randomly runs in, decks Saltine super fucking hard in the face. And then he just runs across the street and disappears. The and then after the fight's kind of like breaking up, the white dude swings at me. I punch him, I think, one time. And then he grabs my hair and then pulls my hair down. And then all the guys are like dick. kicking me in the face while I, I'm like this with my jacket. So it actually didn't hurt, just in my arms. And then Dino grabbed him by the hair, pulled him yeah, off. Yeah, I called of him me. gay for grabbing by the hair. And I pulled him off him. Okay. And then I look up and Leo's like, in. should I start knocking people out? And I'm like, God. maybe like five minutes. It ago, was just like I didn't maybe get you touched. You should have started knocking people I, out five minutes. I, ago. Doing that is like, once you get into a brawl, you're in, you're fighting in a brawl where there's it's 360. It's a terrible idea. If I would have punched one of those guys, I would have gotten hit in the back of the head. Yeah, but they were there was like six. All, my job, I was I wanted to try to stop the fight and tell you guys to leave, which is what I did basically. I broke up what I saw in front of me, me and Fed, which was Dino mostly. I never saw you get attacked, and I just wanted it over because I don't trust that, like, Saltine's going to have the instincts to, like, diffuse shit. He's, he was continuing to call people, to talk shit. Everybody's eight feet taller than him. I was like, he's going to get murdered. That, get the yeah, fuck out of here. I was like, guys, big. get out now. You're going to get killed. Also, Leo, they I'm from... Big, though. Yeah, they I'm out. Like, they were tiny. They were like tiny. Pawns but listen, versus pawns. Obviously. And then, and then we then, have, like, a rook. 
standing <laughs> yeah. next to us. I was a rook. And he's just like, yes. hey, guys. You, you guys should have called in chill. the fucking queen. But dude. the thing is, Austin, <laughs> I have more experience than all of you guys living in California. And I've heard horror stories, man. I've heard horror stories. I don't want you guys to get stomped out on the ground while I'm saving one guy. Saltine's getting stomped out. The, well, the only thing to do when you're getting in a fight in a brawl in Los Angeles is get out. You don't know who has a gun. You don't know who has a knife. You don't know who's going to kill you with their friends, dude. You don't want to die and have permanent damage because of a stupid girl talking to Saltine at a shitty bar in Venice. It was kind of a good bar. I'll yeah, say this. I agree like, with everything. Yeah, the bar is dope. Well, the bar is well, dope. I know there's like six guys about to jump saltine, and I'm just like, you know, I think I'm going to stay in the bar. I uh, no, obviously not. No, I you ran come out, out, back him up, and then a dude just cheap shot at me out of nowhere in the back of the head. Okay, they that, dishonored my crocodile I get it. hat. Yeah. yeah, dude, it's it, it's tough. I when I was in my 20s, I was so quick to brawl, and I would have been throwing not haymakers, but I would have been throwing my our, skinny, our hollowed. My, my hollow boned fists around, not really knocking anybody out, but trying to get some of my jujitsu going in my 20s happily. But as I've gotten older, I can relate to Leo and that not only can you get hurt really bad, but also if you knock somebody out and they fall and hit the concrete, you could fucking kill somebody yeah. in a bar fight. That works both hey, bro, ways. It works both ways. You could get sued. Out of nowhere in the back of my head, like... It's kind of on you. I get you it. Fall yeah. and hit your head and die. No, I, I get it. it. It's I. I totally do not blame you guys for brawling, just for your safety. Yeah. And I also get where Leo's coming from because as you get older, you start to worry more. Like you know, I've got some money saved now. I don't want to get sued. Yeah. I don't want to go to jail, which that's more it, and more the and only the, the forefront of my mind now right. that I've been to jail. Right. But yeah, it, it's it's tough, Austin. But. It's kind of got to be like, Jesus, you kind of got to turn the other cheek. I think it's sometimes. Not worth, it's not worth sometimes, it. Not sometimes. Not always. I, I'm not saying what not, you did is wrong. Always. But we got we jumped. We didn't decide to fight. These right. Guys. But like they the core just started attacking. The core, but the core of the fight, Saltine talking shit and, and, and Dino being worried about his hat. That is not worth any of you guys getting hurt. Am I right? I guess so. It, but those guys were pussies. Those guys weren't the they problem. They suck. They it sound awful. Of course. Fucking Arab guys. There was like of two course. or three Arab guys that was throwing of ants course. that and had I, nothing to do with it. I and completely, then a random 35-year-old white I completely man agree. getting licks in for no I agree. Reason. I agree. But there's a friend of ours, me and Mitch had, that got in a, in a brawl at a, fi- at, a, at a bar like this, got stomped out, and he's never been able to talk this. He talks like Fez now, all right? For the rest of his life, yes. That sucks. Just brain damage, dude. For real. And another guy got shot in the back of the head at a party for getting in a brawl. So this is the kind of stuff that happens uh, in L.A. You want to avoid for Saltine. My ex's mom. Saltine's my my best friend. We got to stop cutting each other off here. Mm -hmm. My ex's mom had a boyfriend whose brother died in a bar fight, too. Like, bar fights are really fucking dangerous. Unless you can isolate the guy you want to fight, get him outside on some grass. Mm -hmm. If you can do that, if you want to fight one-on-one, fight one-on-one. But yeah, I I discourage people, and I've done plenty of it, and I got out unscathed. But be careful fighting in bars. Especially nowadays. Nobody has honor. People just hit people from behind. They hit people in the back of the head when they're not looking. It's not a normal situation where you're going to fight someone, and you have your homies protecting your six. Then it's it's different, you know what I mean? Like it's not worth it, Austin. And both of you guys should have contacts from now. On. I mean, honestly, if you guys want to brawl, here they are. Contact. Yeah, yeah. 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 legend, the legend. This is how the show starts. We That's have right, uh, baby. the legend Wee Man in the building and Poncho Muller. I'm Leo, my man. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Nice. We met Wee Man nice and Poncho Muller, a couple of legends. How, how are you, big dog? Good to see you, Poncho. Good to see you, Good to see you guys. Started. We got a couple of guests here today. We got Poncho Muller and Wee Man of Jackass fame, of course. Um, uh, a couple of legends, and we're happy to have them. And we're gonna, you know, we're gonna pick your guys' brains. Perfect, I'm ready. What Fine. if we pick your brains? But please yeah. do, dude. And then, if you mind rotating that around, yeah, there, there yeah, we go. right into that. That's better. Yeah. Fuck yeah, picking brains. How come I got this one and Poncho got that one? Well, because I'm a comedian. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I, I don't know. Oh, really? You're a comedian? Yeah. <laughs> you think <laughs> your funny joke? No, it wasn't <laughs> a joke. It's. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to decide, is there a hierarchy between these two spots? I'm trying to think, like, who the, the this lowliest... This is for the sexy people. I would, I would say, also, yeah. But Ratic Ralph, people. we have this guy... Oh, we yeah. also have this guy who has, like, a 500-pound girlfriend who always uses that mic, too, and she, she's not very sexy. Wait, Wait. the 500-pound girlfriend uses this one? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's fine. If it makes, <laughs> she's sexy in her own way. If it makes you feel any better, I just they just gave me the open mic. The, the open oh, the mic open mic. mic. Yeah. Open, yeah. This is just a fucking... As your open mic night. And that's cheese. where I met yeah. Poncho. Yeah. This is... <laughs> 
Uh, open mic? Yeah. At an open mic, yeah. We hit the same open mic. And I'm curious where you guys met, because you guys are both like in the comedy scene, sort of. I saw your uh, stand-up on the spot recently, yep. we met. And yeah. then you guys are both skaters, I assume, is probably where you met. We met through skateboarding. Uh, well, like 25 years ago? 1993 was wow. the yeah. issue. Yeah. Wow. Even longer. Wow. We had, we had the cover. Out. Yeah. We had the cover of a. Do uh, you guys remember Big Brother magazine? Yeah, yeah. that's the start yeah. of Jackass, right? That's yeah, where that's that where came it started. from. We both wow. had the cover. He was a West Coast skateboarder, and I was an East Coast skateboarder. Wow! And Spike Jones came to the East Coast and shot photos of me, and then he got photos shot of him. I had no idea this guy even existed. And then the magazine came out like a few months later, and. Uh, it was like two interviews of two little dudes on the in the magazine. And then oh, yeah. when you found out that there was a West Coast little person who who ripped too, did you guys like instantly hate each other? Was there no, beef? We or actually, was like love at first sight? We actually liked each other. I even called up yeah. Haunch and was like, "Hey, bud, when are you going to come <laughs> to the West Coast or whatever? We need to start skating." But then the skateboard industry made their beef between us. Or how and that like who's better? Who can? Who can be the other Like, it was always up. a comparison between me and him, like, in, like, skate interviews that we got and shit. Like, uh -huh. it would always be like, so uh, everyone wants to know, like, who's better, you or we, man? You know? And, they, yeah. and it would always be, like, a question like that, where it was like, well, who they is? would never ask other people that. Like, okay. Mike Carroll, who's better, you or Eric Costin? Yeah. Well, let's like, say there was, like, a to a competition. I mean, I, I know that, I mean, right now, right oh, now though, right now at your age, right now, who would be a better skater? Who's the better skater? Yeah. We man. Punch, yeah. yeah. I can't skateboard no more. I've had oh. three lower back surgeries. Oh, dude. I'm done, dude. My lower back's that, fucked no, no. up. Yeah. yeah. That's why I do stand up. Yeah, you know? for sure. Rock. And you're hilarious. He's, he's been on a couple shows with me. Poncho is a tough act to follow. Let me just oh, say that. Thank dude. you, man. Yeah, man. Poncho yeah. ripped back in the day. The first time I, knew who Pancho was, was when I was a kid, I had this DVD, not even a DVD, a VHS of Tampa 2000, mm. that one of the biggest professional skate contests. And in it, there's a clip of this guy, Pancho Moeller, doing, I thought it was a backside heel flip over a hip. And I saw Pancho's name on a stand-up show, and then I saw him at an open mic. I was like, dude, did you fucking backside heel flip a hip in Tampa in 2000? He's like, it was Switch. Yeah. <laughs> let's go it was yeah, fucking switch dude let's go he Thanks. took his skate pants off and he put his funny pants on yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> i took your goofy boy pants off yeah, my <laughs> goofy boy yeah i still have them though look they're kind of goofy yeah, yeah you still go. got the goofy but you made them i'm trying to keep pants. it alive dude hell yeah <laughs> we man you got switch backside heel flips fuck no not switch backside heel no flips. no he Sexy doesn't have that heel flips he nice. does have uh, that he does uh, have that dude heel flips all day long dude oh, a yeah. switch backside heel flip i can't get even in the fucking universe to land the one i up. think you could once you figure out like the footing of it it's actually a lot easier than to land because you're landing the way you ride yeah then landing backwards sure so that's kind of how i looked at switch tricks when i was doing them 180 i'm like it's a lot easier to land a switch front side flip down a, a set of stairs uh -huh. than a regular front side flip interesting because you're landing going forward you yeah. know you have that this fucking meathead jock has no idea what you're talking about i uh, i'm i was i played baseball <laughs> if, if it's not about getting blowjobs or fucking hitting home runs he doesn't that's know true, what's happening does it when we talk you look like a dude that does like meditation and yoga now you and him yeah, would get along but he does yeah, do. it's, it's all to like get pussy though it's true you. like true. he pretends it's he's it, a it's, holistic it's guy my drug, you know but, my it, drug. but it's really like so he can like take a girl to a mountain retreat and then get a so you don't up. do it drugs ever? you actually just you you've substituted the drugs for womanizing yeah <laughs> which is the it's it's a bad drug you know it's also a bad drug he can derail it your, still costs money it costs money yeah. exactly there's a lot of bad things no along with being it. zen is free bro that's right. That's true. Yeah. So you were saying you, baseball? You used to be. I, so I used to play baseball. baseball. So my whole life, I, I was I was kind of like a really I was really good at an early age, and then my dad was kind of like, I don't want you to get it hurt, so you can't snowboard, you can't do any of that stuff, and you can't skateboard. Mm. And I, you know, I agreed with it. I was like, I, from like twelve years old, I was extremely serious, trying to like you know either get a scholarship in college, which I ended up doing, or go to the pros or something. So yeah, I never did anything, and there. I'm so bad on a skateboard, it's scary. And I was going to ask you, I mean, do you, is the only way to learn trial and error, or is there like a guy, like a, a no, someone that could teach you? First of all, no, there's no precedent for a guy your size being good at skating. Like, right. Brian Anderson is like the biggest famous Jam skater, right? Jamie Foy. How big was Jamie he? Jamie Foy is like a full There's back. big dude, yeah. but they've been doing Jamie it for Jamie Foy is fez size, dude. Yeah. Really? No, he's not that fat. No, he's, no, he's like, he's, but he's, so, he's bigger than you, but like, yeah. 
thick. He's okay. gnarly. So he's jacked. Yeah. But he rips. He rips. Yeah. He's hard. Hey, Probably a lot of practice. Austin, yeah. pull up Jamie Foy Hall of Meat. Jamie Foy has taken one of the <laughs> hardest fucking slams Jesus. I have ever seen a big yeah. body. It's like a 20 stair frontside grind that he sticks on Jesus. and he Did lands on his head from like the top of the rail. Does skateboard talk sound like foreign to you? Very does, foreign. Like, we're spe- does it sound yeah. like we're speaking an international language? It, it, it's very foreign and it triggers me because the only time <laughs> I was bad with the chicks was middle school and all the guys that got pussy in middle school were skaters. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, like, yeah. That was like this. That's when you really like this guy right here, one of the skaters of the year. Let's uh, let's let it roll, Austin. And this is the big guy. This is the big guy. This is Jamie Foy. I didn't know he was tall too, but here he's about to get. Oh wait, this isn't even the one. Oh my god, this is not the one I was thinking of, Austin. But let's Uh see what happens. Oh, pretty bad too. Yeah, Austin. Let's see if there's a different one. Let me see all the thumbnails. He's Uh, already leaning into that slam as he's nollying. Um. Yeah, there was one where he just fell from the top. Did you click that top one, Austin? Was that the one you clicked? Um, I'm not sure, actually. I can't tell. If it's There's one that's age-restricted, and I'm not sure if you clicked that. It's probably this one, then, if it's really bad. Why? Because the slam is so bad? Oh, here it is. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, this, this is, is it. it. Yeah. Dude, you it's age-restricted? It. Yeah. Austin, it's worth it. Let's. I'm, I need Leo to see this so he can understand mm. how much more of a man <laughs> a skateboarder is than a baseball uh, player. Dude, I... I they, they fucking stand around <laughs> eating David's you guys sunflower like, seeds, just give scratching each their nuts, dude. It's always... No, it's always... A, it's funny until you see a ball wonder, coming at you. wonder if the ball's going to get hit my way. When you get a 90-mile-hour fastball at your head and you have to move, you're like, wow, that could have killed me. And then that that then Absolutely. it fears in your heart oh, yeah. permanently. And it's always in the back of your head. Like, you could get hit with a ball. Yeah, what would you rather do? Stand there while a ball whizzed past or do this you fucking I'd wear crazy. a helmet dude <laughs> I'd be wearing a helmet then you wouldn't get any sponsors oh god this. oh god oh dude. my dude yes. no that is a rough... oh. oh he didn't die no. no he was fine he gets up and tries it again I don't oh. know if it was his day but... this is when he was a little bigger too so for people this, who are just listening, he went, he stuck on the rail and he went horizontal. What do you guys think? Probably 12 feet in the air. He's oh, horizontal. Yeah. yeah. And then directly onto his no, fucking shoulder and can, head. No, that's, yeah, that is about 12 feet right there. And he came where, from where higher. Is, yeah. Where his board still oh, at? Oh, where, from where he's coming Where's from. Where's the board yeah. still, so he's in it right there. That's more like 13 feet. Dude, that's bad. This okay. Is, look at the, look at the container next to him. That's 12 feet high. So he's yeah. exactly on top of that container. Oh, my God. Wee Man knows the container heights. That's an, Are you shipping drugs into this country? Why do you know that? No, you just move a lot of shit all the time. That's yeah, it. He knows go. what a mobile mini storage crate, like they bring fentanyl into our docks in. That's no. <laughs> Wee Man no knows drugs, the exact no height No drugs here, bro. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> not, your, not doing your lifestyle. Was that? So <laughs> I'm not as crazy as you might think. I'm actually... You know, we're, we're you talk the talk, but don't walk the walk. Straight edge, dude. We're pretty straight edge. Not now. straight edge, but we're both in our thirties, so we've kind of gotten past our insane phase. But yeah. how was it? Thirties? Wow, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you guys, we man, you look young, young, dude. You guys, you guys you I'm young. fifty. No, you're Damn, not. Bro. I'm fifty. Really? Bro. Yeah. Yep. Damn. So you were like my age when you were doing like jackass stuff and doing all that. Started stuff. when, like. When we premiered the show, I was twenty six. Wow! Every, every and all of the dudes were though right? older. You guys were yeah. all like the same. The only age. babies were Bam and Ryan. Wow! Yeah. And Aaron, maybe Aaron. I think Aaron's younger. But God, I love it. Man. Everybody else is all older dudes. Shit yeah. stunt, Aaron. Aaron, that was Aaron's specialty. Was shit stunts, right? No, that's Dave. Dave. Dave England, the okay. guy that shit in the uh, the Home Depot or whatever. It was like yeah. a construction. Yeah. Home Depot. That was crazy. Yeah, da- <laughs> Danger Aaron's more of a. He's more versatile. He's I gotta, I gotta say, you know, we man, uh, Jackass was definitely. I'm sure Danny will agree with this. It, it kind of shaped like what I thought was the funniest stuff out there. You know what I mean? Like once I saw Jackass, I was like, I this is the funniest stuff there is. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. how this is what people have to do in order to be funny. You know, yeah. like I, I remember yeah. thinking, like, wow, this was. You know, Unbelievable. And you guys have had tons of co- copycats, too. Oh, every yeah. kid. Every it's, kid. Oh, yeah. I, I don't respect him if he didn't try to rip off Jackass <laughs> yeah. when he was in high school. Yeah. I, like, I, I think, to me, whenever I see copycats or whatever, I just see them as like a uh, tribute band. Of course. And, you know what I mean? Yeah. They're, they're, they're <laughs> yeah. trying to be like us, but they're, they're about as far as a tribute band would get. Yeah. So we did a couple. I was in two Jackass cover bands bands. yes exactly i we did one called the art of chaos that was the main one we did and sold the dvd in high school and then we did one called savage and like when push push came to shove nobody could fucking sack up 
and do things the way these guys did. Like when we did shopping carts, we always had our legs hanging out the front to catch our fall better. We couldn't be fully tucked in, ready to take the <laughs> slam like jackass. That's just like one example. To the face. No, like we, we couldn't go to the, like the slams that these guys did, Johnny Knoxville would get a concussion like every other episode yeah. and twice each film. Yeah. We weren't, nobody was willing to do that. Right. In the cover yeah. bands. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Now, did you guys just get good at falling by doing I, it so often? No, most of us were skating. So then, the only two people that didn't skate were Preston and Johnny Knoxville. Oh wow! Everybody else somehow came from skateboarding wow. or snowboarding or something. So like Johnny that. didn't skateboard at all. No, and he, that's why he got. He wanted smoked. to be a baseball player. Okay. Oh, I knew yeah. I didn't makes like sense, it. He, he wanted to be a Hell baseball yeah. player. Hell yeah. I, uh, that uh, makes sense. He looks like a baseball player. All respect. Pitcher. All yeah. respect to Johnny. Mm. So, no, he's a shortstop. Shortstop. All right. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. So I, I will say, it's an interesting point you bring up, though, Leo, because I remember hearing about Jackass when I was in fifth grade and being too young to watch it. My mom wouldn't let me. Mm -hmm. And of course, that just made me want to watch it even more. But there's just... Wow, were you religious or something? Uh, no. Oh, no. No. Oh, I... Actually, uh, yeah, no, no, that wasn't it. It was just my parents being strict. Yeah, and it was yeah. on probably late, and I, I don't really remember exactly. But I'm trying to think, like, I mean, you guys probably, the entire unscripted comedy genre on YouTube, on, like, reality television, it's, it's just impossible to say how much you guys influenced that. Like, I got to think it's just a tremendous amount. Yeah. It's everywhere I go still to this day, it's... Somebody wants to get kicked in the nuts or punch me in the face. <laughs> and it's like, dude, I'm just having a normal day today. Can yeah. I get a coffee? <laughs> right, right, right. Just want to order a coffee. That's it. Well, we, man, you can, you can punch our friend Fez in the face or kick him in the nuts <laughs> if you want to no, pass no, the no. pain down to the next generation. No, he's good. He's good. He's, uh, but back to the question yeah. of, from slamming. Mm -hmm. We all were slamming a whole bunch. So you get good we, at falling. Yeah, yeah. Especially from skateboarding. Right. Yeah. I was in stunts for a while, and that's something that, like, you kind of learn on the run. But there were, like, we did an entire day, like, dedicated to falling, you know what I mean? Ro yeah. Rolling with the shoulder or, like, you know, making sure your your wrists don't, you know, I've, stuff like that. I've worked with stunt people, like, on different things, like, stuff where you go. Mm -hmm. And they're like, okay, you're going to. And I'm like, dude, just let me fall. Bro. Yeah, he's got it. Like, <laughs> we do. Yeah. We fall differently than, like. Way different, yeah. We fall, like, if it's the last resource, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And so, to us, we've learned, like, at the last split second, tuck your head or mm -hmm. tuck your, you know, if you can. Right. Uh -huh. If you can't, then just take the pain. Yeah. Right. Right. So. I want to ask about how you guys were compensated because i understand that mtv they were notorious for cheeseburgers lowballing people you got paid in cheeseburgers ta tacos but no, then but yeah of course mt it, it's no and they it's a big no and that's why after three seasons we had enough mm -hmm. and we said if you want to work with there was two reasons and it if was, you don't mind women just turn just tilt the mic yeah, a little bit there we there go we, we go. talk right into that screen yes yeah, yeah. right there, mm, there so is. um we uh we got tired of being lowballed and also got tired of them telling us what we couldn't do. Mm -hmm. So then we we're like, the next thing we want to do is we want to make a movie. So they would want to get paid and we want to do what we want to do. Yeah. So they wouldn't let you put a car up Ryan Dunn's ass on MTV. <laughs> Not on the TV show that I had to wait for the movie. And then I remember going and seeing Jackass, the first movie in theaters when I was in seventh grade and just like what you guys did. Like if you can make people feel ecstasy, for a solid hour to an hour and a half, you are doing a great good for humanity. And you guys did that four times. Like, I love all the Jackass movies. Yeah. They're fucking incredible. Even Thank some you. of the half ones. Thank you, yeah. So how how were you compensated when, the say, the first movie drops? Good. Well. Yes. Did you make a million bucks, we Man? Then? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you know, Poncho? Tell the truth for him. <laughs> if he's unwilling to talk Maybe. about it. Maybe. I don't speak dollars. He doesn't talk know. money with me. Who, right. pick up, who picks up more of the tabs? If you oh, guys I do are. all the time. <laughs> okay. Who picks up more of the bitches? <laughs> I do. Uh, <laughs> we do. Let's go. He's got that Hollywood shit. That's, <laughs> that's, I mean, it's unfair. So you go, everywhere you go, you get recognized. Like, yes. there's nowhere no you can I go. Can't. Like, all over the world, probably. Yep. Worldwide. That's amazing, man. It was, we were three episodes, or... Not three episodes. Three months in to making the TV show of Jackass, and I was still going on skate tours. And I flew to Japan uh, with the Dogtown guys, 
Mm-hmm. And people were running out of stores yelling, We Man, We Man. Damn. And my buddy's like, Dude, it's on for you now. Dude. You oh were the God. most recognizable dude on Jackass. Oh, yeah. You and Preston together. No, probably. Knoxville says I'm the, even he says, he goes, You're done, dude. You, you can't hide from nothing. Damn. I've remember- been with Steve O. And people are like, oh, I thought it was Steve-O. And then I knew it was because I saw Wee Man. Yeah. yeah. Ah, yeah. That's Damn. funny. Dude. That was the thing, though, is you guys weren't paid well back then. But it, the fame you got from MTV when MTV was the biggest thing in the world, that's yeah. kind of priceless. That yeah. level of fame. Of course. That's how they get you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're like, you're on TV, you know. Right. And they were kind of right, though. Because <laughs> then, like, all you have to do is start a half-assed clothing line and you're a multi-multi-millionaire. Yeah. So they had... I mean, that was true, but now they don't have that power. Now I'm sure they just lowball people and then 20,000 people see the show. Yeah. Well, now there's so many shows and so much different things out, you know, and people, I don't think the shows they have on now are getting as much views as when we were on. Not even close. Yeah. I mean, no. not, and first of all, the only two shows on MTV are Rob Deerdick's Ridiculousness and Catfish. Yeah. That's all there is on MTV. <laughs> no, yeah. I love Rob, but yeah. like, I mean, he just owned that. That network is yeah. him now. No, it is. He had Robin Big. Right. He yeah. had all of them. He, it's, yeah. it's the Rob channel. So or, to get back to the pussy, are you guys both single? No, I'm married. I'm married. I've been married like uh, 10 years now. But you got the ring off in case, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but he has no, but, but before he has the, the marriage, though, did you ever get him some of the groupies from oh, the MTV? Of course I did. Let's go. Dude, we went to New Orleans and had a blast. Can you tell me, can you tell me a, d- a story for the boys? You know, like the, the boys you can tell watching because the they're, they're fans have it. Yeah. That's because my wife's heard that one already. All right, let's do it. Uh, so me and him uh, hooked up. We, uh, we, we, we went to. Uh, New Orleans for an Anheuser Busch convention. Through, what year is this roughly? Through Monster Energy, it was probably like what 2008, 2008, 2009. Okay, nice. 2008, 2009. We went to New Orleans for an Anheuser Busch convention with Monster. He was sponsored by Monster. Nice. And he said, "Hey, I, I want to bring my friend Ponch with me." And so I went and uh, Monster we had a, picks up the tab. Monster Hotel, picks up airfare. the tab. The first night we get out there, we we do our thing and. Uh, we end up hooking up with these two fucking like hots, like Hooters girls. <laughs> Let's go. It was, yeah. <laughs> and then at the end of the night, we, we all hop into a taxi and uh, it's me, my girl, we man and his girl. And his girl just passes out right away. And then she's in the front seat, passed yeah. out. I'm like, whatever. And then my girl <laughs> uh, starts jacking me off. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. And so at the end of the ride, I'm like, dude. My girl just jerked me off. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, I know. I'm like, how do you know? He's like, well, because she was jerking me off, too. <laughs> <laughs> she went skiing, dude. Yeah. She went yeah. skiing. Oh, she Show. was skiing, dude. And she that was, was like a pretty cool, cool adventure. But okay. The, but the best part was when we went to Hooters the next day, and I straight called her out. Oh, yeah. It. So oh. she knew. She was a hostess oh. there. Ponch knew and that we both knew, so it wasn't like a secret thing. Uh, I'm like, hey, so uh, yesterday, you know, when we were in the cab mm-hmm. and you were rubbing my leg and you were running punch, and she just fully turned red. Oh, uh, man. We like, no, we no, should- no. She was, no she, you, you said, this is exactly how you said. He's like, He's like, hey, do you remember last night when you were rubbing the inside of Poncho's legs? That's how he worded mm-hmm. it. He's like, but then you were rubbing the inside of my legs, too. Yeah. And she got beat red. He's like, that was awesome. <laughs> and then we all started laughing about it. But yeah, just little things like that here and there. Yeah. Or like we went to, when we were in New Orleans, girls would walk up to him and like be like, eh. Try to get his autograph or get a picture with him. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he'd be like, "You could get a picture with me, but you gotta like rub your titties in my buddy's face." And, like, <laughs> <laughs> and they would be like, "Okay." Yes. They would just be like, "Okay." They would lift their shirt up and just no, That's just, dude. I went to Utah. Fair exchange, if you ask me, man. I went to Utah once, and they put us up in this club, and they're like, "Okay, we're gonna hold you in the VIP room. We got some drinks and stuff." And I met this other little dude. But different style little dude where he was super short. Mm. He's like probably almost half the size of Ponch and I. Wow. And I'm like, cruise with. Yeah, they come, come tiny. Dude. They come yeah. really tiny. Wow. Mm. And he came in and we're breaking the regulators off of booze bottles because they would only bring us one bottle and then we'd have to jam like, no, we want like three bottles. I'm mm. breaking the regulators <laughs> off. Uh-huh. All these chicks come in and this dude's like kind of feels a little left out. And I'm like, hey, ladies. And there's like six of them. <laughs> I'm like, all of you, start putting your titties all over my dude right here. Yeah. And the dude's in the middle of the table just 
being drowned by titties. You know, this is how we know that we'll, that Wee Man's a way bigger celebrity than us, Leo. Uh, we can't do that. We tried that move for this guy yeah. at a bar this weekend, yeah. and um, well, we should actually tell the story, Leo, because yeah. we didn't, it didn't tell happen. Hitler. So check this out. Leo went up to these girls, and you were very polite. Very Leo. polite. And it, it, it was such a noble let thing. Me, let me stop you right there. Sure. Right there is where you went wrong. I should have been aggressively. You, you were polite. Well, he so and the right. girls. Not polite. So the girls no. ate you up. Yeah, but you're when right. When you're polite to girls, no. they'll eat you up. But when you're like, hey, fucking ladies. No, yeah. these guys get chicks, dude. I've fucking been with them. <laughs> but I'm, well, they <laughs> just, they just, I was getting job, a fucking blowjob in the back yeah, while I was doing, while I was doing stand-up comedy and bombing. <laughs> he wasn't polite, though. He probably wasn't polite, though. <laughs> he, wanted, he wasn't polite He's that like, day. I was there. He wasn't polite. No. He was a dick. That's where you messed up. I might have polite. been. I, I might be guilty of charge. Check Maybe. this out. You got to hear the story. Okay, let's hear it. I'm so, ready. So Leo goes up. I'll tell what you said. Yeah. I'll tell what you first said, and then yeah. you tell what you ended on. Sure. So okay. he goes up, and he says, ladies, we have a friend who's a virgin, which... Fez is over there. Yeah, he's a virgin. Uh, he really? um, he yeah. wants to come out of his shell. We'd love to introduce him to you, ladies. Before he could even finish his sentence, they're like, leave us alone. Talk to the hand. Leave. Go away. Mm. Without missing a fucking beat, Leo lets fly. <laughs> I, I get hotter girls than you on a Wednesday in the Valley. Oh, and, uh, yeah. But that's just, not how you said it. He's they, like, I was like, I get better pussy than you on a Wednesday in the fucking valley. Yeah, dude, I, I, had to, I had to lay into that bitch, dude. <laughs> and she was like, honestly, the, the the reason why we went up to her is because we we're like, dude, she is not that attractive. She might actually be down. Let's see. This might be the bitch to do it, dude. And then. Were yeah, you guys trying to film it? Yeah, we were, we were filming we were it. Filming. You hit it all wrong. Yeah, all but wrong. right. It dude. was a nice recovery. At least I, yeah, I, I ended it with some some power. But you're I, right. I, I feel you guys just aren't on that fame level yet. yet. You will be. Mm -hmm. You're on the fame level where chicks dig you, mm -hmm. and you can get what chicks you See want. See how he pointed at but me, you're not, not you, He pointed well, at me no, too. Both, he <laughs> shifted the well, finger. You guys can get chicks that dig you, yeah. but you're not on the fame level level where chicks dig you enough. Right. To, to, pass to be pussy. like, hey, put your fist <laughs> in my buddy's face. Yeah. They're going right. to be like, nah. It, right. It's, right. I, I Sometimes I wonder like how attainable that level of jackass fame really is. Because as we man, as you pointed out, fame has become so democratized, yeah. which in a way is a beautiful thing. Because if we did what we're doing now in 96, you probably nobody would have ever heard of us. And mm -hmm. we'd be working at like a bar. Yeah. But now we can make a living and have fans and stuff. Mm -hmm. But it is hard to reach the jackass. Johnny Knoxville, the Wee Man, early 2000s. I, I just, what were the numbers on the show? You guys were getting how remember. many views? I don't remember. 50 million? Like, who knows? Oh, on the show? Yeah. Probably like between, between 10 and 20. Well, 10, 10 and 20, 10 and 20 sounds closer. Your, your, your guys' bad. shit is worldwide, though. Yeah. Like it's yeah. But what I was going to say is nowadays there's too many like people trying to be famous mm -hmm. that girls feel it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And when you're going and you're trying to do it that way, that girls put a fucking shield up. Yeah, 100%. When you just act like a shit bag and don't even give a fuck, mm -hmm. that's when girls are like, oh, this guy might be a challenge. Mm -hmm. But if you open the door a little for them, that's when they're like, yes. It's, gotcha. Isn't it hilarious that the surest way to know that somebody isn't successful is when they talk about how successful they are. Yeah. If somebody's talking about how successful they are, yeah. they're a fucking poser. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or they're I've, like Middle I've, Eastern. If I've, they're Middle Eastern, they might. Wow. Be Are you uh, Middle wow. Eastern? Yeah. I, I could, yeah. My 23 and me says I'm a little Middle Eastern now, yeah, but I, I look I look Middle Eastern. I, I feel so like there are, are some Middle Eastern real estate agents who probably talk a lot about how successful they are. They probably are successful. Yeah, but that, sure. they're, uh, you know, a very braggy culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Argentinian, Italian, Colombian. Okay, Argentinian, cool. Mm -hmm. So, um, we men, I, I wonder, because I'm going to, if you won't say the number exactly, I assume you've had sex with hundreds and hundreds of women. Okay. <laughs> what do you think about guys who use height as an excuse for why they can't get women? I can't stand that shit. Thank you, bro. Does not work. Yeah. Dude, I've... <laughs> I, you, that's that excuse does not work. Mm -hmm. I think heard, it's bullshit. I think yeah, I've just heard totally. it so much, but I'm I, not in the dating world. But I mm -hmm. honestly, when I was, I wasn't on. Uh, I I was. It was a time where we weren't on dating apps, or I I didn't mm -hmm. use dating apps. But it wasn't. It wasn't a struggle. Like you know, right. it was. 
I mean, you're always going to find a girl that has a fetish. Right. Or if you can talk to a girl and make her laugh yeah. mm-hmm. and put her defense down. Oh, dude, you're in there, bro. It's, Brad, it's, Brad Williams, uh, I talked to him after a show one time. And he told me that. He's like, dude, you would be surprised how many girls have fetishes and they just want to sleep with a little, little person. You know what I mean? Oh, Which yeah. is kind of awesome. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like but, that. but I agree with Poncho, too. What are you saying? Like, even if you're not, quote unquote, a little person, you're just a guy who's 5'6". Right. If you're just goofy, like we man said, not talking about how successful you are, you can make them laugh. Right. I mean, we went out this weekend. We talked about it earlier, but we tried peacock theory. I was wearing one boxing glove, one roller blade, a, a, a top hat, and flight goggles. And a fur coat. And a fur coat. And so chicks, right. chicks loved it, though. Yeah. Oh, like, they did. Yeah, yeah because three makeouts. it was yeah. so over the top, and we so clearly... Did you just say three makeouts? Three makeouts, That's so dude. awesome. Maybe, <laughs> maybe That's more. so high school. Maybe more. Maybe That's so high four. school. You're like, dude, I went to the party. I made <laughs> out with makeouts. three chicks, dude. <laughs> it was, I, I, I had three of them. I know it's immature. Wait, I want to correct where, the record. It was wait, four. Wait, I need to know where you guys were. Santa Monica bars. Yeah, it Santa was Venice, Venice. Bars. It was the the Victorian. You know that spot? Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. it's old school. Yeah, it's yeah. been around. Yeah, now okay. it's a really it's a college bar now. There's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. but that, hey, we man, you would clean up in there. <laughs> but but our <laughs> vibe yeah. is like we were so the opposite of the tense guy in a collared shirt who's right. like, yeah, I'm cool, I get pussy. Hey, right. What you looking at, bro? Yeah, yeah, you almost stepped on my shoe. I get pussy. What's up, girls? Yeah. I work for my dad. See? I'm rich. Like that guy, we like were that. the opposite of him, and you guys strike me as like the opposite of that too. And that yeah. attitude is so attractive to women. Right. Yes, I think with with with, with me, and I, I think I could speak for him too. Is like, girls are attracted to talent. Mm-hmm. You know, it doesn't matter what you look like. If you're, yeah. if you have confidence. confidence and talent, and you don't talk about how famous or any yeah. of that, yeah. they're attracted to that shit. Right. That's why I always hooked up with girls yeah. back back in the day. Like it was just I, uh, to me, skateboarding was way more interesting than a fucking hot chick. Mm -hmm, And so uh, uh, girls would usually be like, oh my God, you know, like they, they want to know why I ain't giving them attention. You, Mm -hmm. you made yourself a powerful figure that, and then you would, uh, women just became attracted to you. You know, you didn't have to attract women because you made yourself a legend. Not, not on this dude's level. Well, yeah, I know means, but it, it, it wasn't a bill, you were on a billboard this you're on a billboard right now, I'm yeah. pretty sure. Yeah, I, show, yeah. So yeah. not on this guy's level, but yeah, by no means was like I having problems with it. You sure. know, it, it was we we did a video based on the book The Game, which I don't know if you guys have heard of it. It's yes, a, it's the about, Bible. The it, Bible. It's a real it's it's designed like a Bible. Good, it's got a leather good. cover. It's actually a very great book. I love it. A lot of young guys read it. It's about picking up women. But the conclusion the author draws at the end of it is that Picking up women is for losers. If you're just doing it for the sake of picking up women, the goal should be to create a life that attracts women. Mm. And that's exactly what you're saying. Yeah. You guys both accomplished that. So Yeah. What's your billboard for? Uh, it's for this movie called Till Til Death Do His Part. I don't think the billboard's still up, but it was up for like like five months and shit. It was pretty cool. I've never, I, I've been an actor for a long time. I've never been on a billboard. Bro, are you kidding me? That's the hardest thing so. to do to get your, like on the billing, like yeah. Poncho Moeller in yeah. like on a billboard. That's crazy. You know, what was funny. was, I was like, it like, uh, when that billboard came out, I was posting up pictures of it, you know, because I was really proud of it. I'm yeah, like, I've fuck never yeah. been on a fucking billboard in 20 years. We were on a marquee in happened. Vegas for a stand-up show, and we were fucking taking hella pictures. <laughs> but you know what was crazy is I was getting all this fucking hate, like, stuff on my on my Instagram going, you can't do this. It's a writer's strike. You can't advertise. Yeah. Oh, my God. And I was just like, Those you know what? Those people. Fuck you. Yes. I've been trying to do this for so long. I've never, yeah. like... People uh, did that? Yeah. Oh. So you had to do, like, the non on APT whatever oh hashtag because it they, wasn't they all have their fucking shit, pronouns punch. yeah you can do whatever you want I know but people were fucking getting like Who? actors actors like Who? fucking it's, soy boy it was fucking... mostly actors that probably don't book that much yes or, like you know and they, uh, are, are at, the, at the strike trying to like, so don't care him. I could see they all don't care they were all actors who still wear masks in 2024 <laughs> and have their pronouns in their oh bio. my god that's Those who was trying to shut him down yeah yeah fuck that so so the comedy thing, so we men, you did stand up on the spot, yep. which is a cool show. Jeremiah Watkins, I believe yep. his name is. I watch most every episode on YouTube. I really like it. He's it's a good a, guy. I've known Jeremiah for a while. He's We've hilarious. For a while. He's fucking, he, I remember he used to be the wave in the, sh- the show Roast Battle. 
Yeah. Jeff Ross. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bad, he would come in between. Yeah. Which was great. Loved that show. And then I saw he did this where he rounds up really big time comedians and they just do basically what we do at the fourth wall, 4 p.m. open mic, <laughs> which is things get pulled out of a hat and yeah. you just have to riff on them. Wow, that's fun. He does that show and he's a really good comedian himself. But if you're doing that, we man, have you been dabbling in other stand up? Uh, I've done different styles of stand up many times. I did kill Tony a few times. Terrible. But you travel been, with uh, uh, Steve-O, too. Yeah, then Great. stuff with Steve-O. Yeah, you guys are doing arenas. I mean, what, yeah, what kind of... He does many, theaters, like wow. 2,000. That's amazing, man. Yeah. So, That's awesome. I don't know what he's up to now or whatever. I think somewhere 3,000. I don't know what, you know. Do you we, do shows in L.A.? or? or yeah, I did the Comedy or? Store. Oh, hell, hell yeah. yeah. We, we've chatted, like, since we have our podcast, Little Revolution. Little uh, Revolution, right now, guys. You know, follow, throwing in the plug. Yeah. Um, we've chatted about like traveling around together, like with our podcast and, and, and then doing like a, a live show, but also doing stand up with it. And like, Poncho, having, done that before. I remember the 500 mile rule, Poncho, you're allowed to cheat on your wife if you're more than 500 miles away from home. <laughs> wow. No, I'm joking. <laughs> don't do that. No, no, Are you guys married or taken? Um, Leo I'm is, taken, he's got yeah. a, he's in a relationship. Mm -hmm. I'm a, really? single, I'm a single guy. Yeah. Okay. I'm a fucking mm -hmm. single guy. Wait, so he was out last, oh, you were trying to hook up your oh, Yeah, I was friend. trying to hook up the boys. This the guy, I was friend. wingmanning it up, you know? Yeah. He's nice. a good wingman, Leo. That's yeah, it's good. He's no, specialty. He's a pretty really. good wingman. Yeah, I'm a specialty. You were guys, you guys, how were the... How were the, like, the very pinnacle jackass days? So, like, after the first movie came out... There must have been an insane amount of groupies coming for Bam and Steve O oh, and Knox. It's been like that. We we used to go to this place called the Knights Library. It was where we would film in Orlando. Okay. And it was like shooting fish in a barrel Jesus. every time. Or shooting tadpoles in a teacup. A phrase <laughs> yeah, I coined yeah, this weekend. Specific. Or just pulling panties out of a fountain. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, when, 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 after we got jerked off that one time in the uh -huh. taxi. <laughs> We, 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 uh, after that, we, we went to our hotel and our hotel was like, people were partying. It was like the, the monster Anheuser-Busch hotel. Yeah. As soon as we pull up into the lobby, after we got jerked off and came, uh -huh. um, we pull up into the lobby, this fucking beautiful girl that must've looked like, she looked like a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader. Yeah. Runs up to him and goes, oh my God. I, and starts hugging him. Loves it. And then he just looks at me. He's like. Later, Ponch. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we man, did you have sex with that woman? Yeah, I did. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. <laughs> well, that's, my boy, that that's my boy, dude. That's my boy. First, my boy is like that. And yeah, what, what's so interesting about the <laughs> dynamics of women being attracted to men versus vice versa is that, like, with women, we value a pristine, you know, armpits, leg shaved, like beautiful hair. We don't want to hear her fart. We don't want to walk into a bathroom <laughs> after she's been in there. But like a guy like. <laughs> A guy like Dave England is literally famous for like shitting on himself. Yeah. And Steve O is yeah. like barfing, cutting himself. Yeah. And he's just like unlimited pussy. <laughs> yeah. Like women yeah. couldn't care less that what he does no, is like defecate. They want it more. <laughs> Which yeah. it doesn't make any they sense. They want it more. Yeah. Why not? It's, it's just, like the rock star. Yeah. It's, it's just, like the fucking rock star. When yeah. the guy's on stage, no matter what, yep. he could be the. Uh, dude, I had friends uh, in my town when I was growing up. And none of them ever had girlfriends. Started a band. Their first show, first night, every dude left with a chick. Yeah. Because he was on fucking stage and he had everybody's attention. stand-up is like that, too. I mean, obviously, you guys can tell. Like, whenever you're up there with the mic, dude, it's like you're kind of like. If a, you're killing it. If you're killing it. If you're, no, if you you're blowing it. If you bomb, it, it's tough. If you're bombing it, the chick's like, I ain't going home with that dude. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to get seen with the guy bombing. Yeah. I'm trying to think. <laughs> I'm trying to think stand-up. I'm trying to compare it because. I'm trying to think if I've ever seen somebody get laid just like only off stand up. Mm -hmm. Like leave the stage and chicks are like throwing their panties at them. Yeah. Like I feel like it's <laughs> it's not like being Motley Crue in 87. No, don't don't they call those chucklers? Chuckle fuckers. Yeah, chuckle, chuckle fuckers. fuckers. Chuckle, yeah. chuckle. That is a term. Chuckle fuckers. Like, chuckle yeah. fuckers. That's a term. Dude. Like any For chick. a comedian getting a chick. From the club, or like just a, a, girls that come. I mean, we know comedian girls, like groupie, like yeah, they're gr they're groupies. Com the groupies that strictly like co comics. I, I know this old school comic. He's been around a long time. Adam Hunter. He does like the UFC stuff. You guys might know him, but he basically told me that like he told me this story about how 
you don't get paid when you're a beginner comic, but you do get paid in pussy. Yeah. And that is the truth. But, like, but yeah. let's let's talk about that. Let's yeah. actually analyze that statement, Leo, because sure. uh, any chicks that I've quote unquote gotten from stand from just stand up, mm-hmm. I feel like they knew the YouTube channel and they were fans of the YouTube sure. channel. And that's why it happened. I'm trying to think of the guys that we rub shoulders with at shows. Mm-hmm. Like, how many of them are just like throat fucking girls in their car after a stand up performance? I have, dude. Listen, I I know I know <laughs> a look. certain Latino comedian who was not big at the time. This was like six years ago when I met him. He's big now, but when Renee? he wasn't. Fluffy? How did you know? God damn it. Yeah. Because you're a ha-ha's guy. Yeah, I'm a ha-ha's guy. And, yeah. and so that's where he came up. So Six Renee, he's a good so Renee. Renee. It's out of the bag. God damn it. Renee's a murderer. Six not years the best looking dude. dude. Not the best, not the best looking, looking guy, bro. He looks guy. like he could work at 7-Eleven. Six but years ago. Pussy. Exactly. Funny as fuck. Thank yeah. you. He knows exactly what I'm talking about. Confidence. This motherfucker. Dude, he was pulling way out yeah. of this league just right after murdering on stage. That's true. But is it a one night thing though? Is it a one night like, oh, I want to fuck this guy and, or is it like, oh, I want to have a relationship I think it's more guy. I want to bang this guy. Yeah, of but, course. But you know how it is. Once you bang a chick, you, if you want to, you can probably talk her into being in a relationship with you. Yeah. Like you've done Or the you can part. talk her into at least doing it again. At yes. least doing it again. Yeah. No. Uh, Renee, uh, yeah, <laughs> Renee, he does have the rock star vibe when he does a show. Now he's gotten a little better looking though. He he lost weight since then. He's gotten better. Like I, he, now, I think he's a dude. He's kind of like maybe girls you go, can fuck him. Yeah, the Latina <laughs> girls wow. don't like bang that dude. Latina, he has. He's like saying a, you could get Renee's seconds. I don't know if I could. <laughs> All right, the girl after he Renee is abused them sexually. Maybe I can slip in. You're saying yeah. like, no. This guy, this guy don't. gets puss. Hey, Pacho, you've emphasized that twice now, and I want to say I appreciate it, buddy. No, we no, make. I, I, I don't. I really I know you that well, but I know that you rocked that show, and then you were with Hell two yeah. chicks. Yeah, that baby. were the hottest chicks there. That's well. right, baby. That's <laughs> right. I was like, yeah, what the hell is happening? They were the drunk best. as fuck, though. Yeah. They well, were the hottest chicks <laughs> there. <laughs> hey, man, I'm pretty sure they would have had a good time with you that night, dude, if you were there. I, dude, I also so. want to say this was like a Wednesday or a Thursday at the Ha Ha, so yeah, it wasn't yeah. like the comedy yeah. store on a Saturday those, night. Do you think girls like that on that level, if you were with Fez... Yeah, yeah. Thing? Oh, well, there's no chance that even look at me. No, no, no. Uh, He's the anti pussy <laughs> right now. No, but he is. if those were the girls that you went up to and got and and been like, hey, we would have had a better rub chance. Your tits in my buddy's face. Do you think those girls would have done it? They yeah. would have. Yeah, they would. Oh, they would have. Right? Because they're, yeah. they're only fans, girls. Yeah. They're they're a little bit looser. The chick yeah. that he went up to and asked that. It, it looked like a, a collection of friends from work who didn't know each other very oh. well. And she was like the woke chick at the office who was like, eh, man, don't talk to me. Right. Eh. This is girls night and yeah. we're having drinks tonight because we're actually talking about men at the office. Exactly. And this is what's happening. Bye. And all the <laughs> other girls probably wanted to get laid, but yeah. this fucking chick's like being the mouthpiece for the group. The right. security guard. <laughs> fuck that. The thing is that the I feel like there's a for the group. Fuck That's that. Right. Dude, there's so many girls that go out to just shun guys. I mean, they live in a different world than us. They go outside and like, even like an average chick is going to get dick thrown their way all day. You know what I mean? Yeah, Most Instagram. of it for you. Uh, guys like me just anybody, all over you know average I mean? chicks live <laughs> you know hey, well, hey, hey, average chicks are great uncircumcised dude. italian sausage <laughs> <laughs> all up and down i like them ugly <laughs> ugly to hot you know that's a I mean? move like, of mine uh, this last i basically every other show i do with leo i spend the last minute or two of my set just talking about how filthy and uncircumcised his penis uh, my, is my, i have an uncircumcised <laughs> cock you know and I'm, I'm catholic you know so. is there something going on between you two you know sexual they're just really good buddies <laughs> if you're talking about his cock mm-hmm you know, I'm not gonna. Spe- know it, I'm man. not gonna confirm or deny, but maybe a girl has gone skiing with us too. Maybe. Maybe we have the Why same. Why are you bond. afraid to talk about it? Poncho no, and I blasted out. Because yeah, he's in a relationship. <laughs> you don't want to blast when yeah, you're in a exactly, relationship exactly. that, like, you got. Yeah. Off is in a relationship. With your buddy. He knows. This, this was a long time. Listen, my <laughs> wife. I told my wife all the dirt I've done because I knew that surprises would come up. Because we all have those stupid yeah. friends that are like, "Hey, yeah. dude, remember when we did this yeah. right in front of your chick?" And you're like, "Are you serious, bro?" Yeah, like, bro. fuck. And uh, guys never change. Man. And That's get pussy. <laughs> getting pussy is kind of like putting a car and a condom up your asshole. Like chicks, they don't really care as long yeah. as you're like the man. You know, <laughs> like like chicks can know. Like, my ex knew that I had, like, a very colorful sexual history, and it's not really an issue when you're a guy. But again, vice versa? Ugh. 
Like, yeah. so I, I just want you to know before with, we depending on like what kind of girl you date. I think Latina girls are very jealous girls. They're very yeah. jealous. Yeah, very oh, jealous. That's girls. A Middle Eastern, so that's like but super. She's super Armenian, spicy. which is like the Mexico. Well, what the is Middle Armenian East? like, dude? She's extremely jealous, like crazy. Honestly, so I was ever popular with Armenian chicks. For me, it was just white chicks and Latinas. That's I, it. That's it, all I got. Hmm. White yeah. chicks and She's Latinas. She's Persian Armenian. She looks more Persian than Armenian, you know. But yeah, I feel like uh, Armenian girls, the newer kind of crop. Let's talk they're... nice about them. Yeah, let's talk nice about it. them. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> How did you uh, meet her? <laughs> I met her. Uh, it, it was at a college. Oh, I went to go visit my buddy who was in Santa Barbara, and then I just went to a local little like coffee shop, and she was there hanging out. And she was a UCSB college student, so a couple of girls recognized me. I was. I had just done the Bachelorette. I did the reality show, so I. I just I, as I. Went went up to her a couple girls recognized me and i was like it's probably a good thing you know what i mean and then you were you were on over. the bachelorette i was yeah, no. he, had a, he had a jackass style flash of fame for a little bit the, the numbers wait, wait, were not wait, close wait 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 mm-hmm. let's let's back this truck up before we empty oh. it out mm-hmm. <laughs> how far mm-hmm. along the episode did you get you five, of five? 30, five of 30 you I were top five, five. Mm-hmm. nice so you yeah. got you got many roses i got many roses dude Damn. and i got a one-on-one date only four guys get a one-on-one date which is like your 30 minutes of the hour is, yeah, yeah, is dedicated yeah. to you so i got one of those unfortunately it was in the worst place ever my my one-on-one date was richmond virginia you went so, oyster shucking or yeah some shit, exactly right? dude can we, pull up a clip? can we pull oh we up got a leo? clip to pull up oh, yeah can we pull up leo's grocery store yeah. bitch fight <laughs> yeah yeah this is this is what put me on the map though is uh just do bachelor in paradise uh then i had like a blowout on bachelor in paradise <laughs> which really put me on the map uh this i, I got canceled pretty bad too whoa leo's look at that worst Fabio moments here. yeah dude, yeah. you must have been running through it was nice it was he nice he was getting some yeah. tail dude it was nice. And afterward, man. even being canceled was it was still. Wait, ever thought of on. going without that facial Hold hair on. again? I, I've done that look before. Yeah, I think it just uh, this this is like a little bit more like it's fun for. It gives me more auditions, Poncho. To be honest, oh, the really? beard. Let's no. hit this. Let's hit this. Okay. Want to hear this? Look. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I still have it on film. Now. <laughs> oh, is this huh. for the Jamie Foy slam? Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. I was going for. I'm not gonna say I wasn't meant to be on a romance novel, but I'm not gonna say that I wasn't not meant to be on a romance novel. I mean, like, like seriously, what? Check this out. They oiled you up for that shot. Yeah, they did. That's the toast to uh, Kendall. We had a great first date, and it was one of the, the best first dates I've ever been on. You know, and uh, it was a shame to find out that you were kind of full. Of That's right. Babe. Wow, you called her out. I've kind of yep. seen a lot of people that are full of, and all I'm saying is the world has enough. To have me add on to it. No, let's get say it to my face. Grocery store, bitch. No, 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 no. Oh, stop talking. Hey, guys. Hey, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Tell the girl you're hanging out with that you just kissed someone after your date with her. That's a normal thing to do. This guy's such on a my terms, dude. I don't have to tell her when. And you almost you ripped his ass on national yeah, TV. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Because that's what you yeah. do in paradise. You exhaust all the options. And you tell And them. you figure it and out. And you tell them. And you Trish tell them. Where's that written? Is there a rule that says you have to tell them? You ruined my day by making me feel like I did something horrible by kissing Chelsea. I was extremely surprised and hurt that you would do something like that to me. Saying you say it's phenomenal, but are you saying that it's phenomenal for you and I was faking it, so it wasn't phenomenal for me? Yeah, I'm saying it wasn't you're phenomenal a good for you. I'm saying that you're Thank like you. a phenomenal <laughs> actress. Really? You did a great job. Yeah, you really fooled me. Any girl who gets that upset about me kissing another girl probably wanted me to be exclusive. And maybe she should have told me that. Yeah, I mean, if I saw you like kissing Joe here, yeah, I would be um, jealous. I understand that. Yeah, I'm an alpha, and it's like I, I don't want any That's guy right, to baby. really think that like, they could ever like have you by the time you got. Yeah. You want your woman to just kind of be yours. Like, I like Kendall. I'm in like with her, but it doesn't mean that there's not a lot of fun to be had, and that I can't have that fun. I could make out with every girl if I wanted to, but I'm not. <laughs> Going there, just yeah. Yeah. I did you just get here, and it's like a rainy night. I'm one of the like, biggest villains in the history of this fucking. There's so much more time. Chelsea was hot, dude. I like Chelsea. Oh my god, more. Pat, unless Joe's gonna tell her. Oh, he's your towel. Oh, he's your towel. <laughs> I know that she will. He think took a bunch about of Adderall and like date. diuretics before this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Press pause, Austin. I forget how fucking handsome Leo is because I always make him like ride a unicycle and like fucking dress up like an asshole in our videos. <laughs> I forget that this was his origin, was like yeah. being a hot what, guy. What year was this? 2018. 
2019. Oh, like a little while. Not ago. far. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not just long right ago. before COVID. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Fucking COVID, man. It was cool, man. That's kind of how I was just an actor, kind of struggling. The only role I booked was on uh, Black Jesus. Do you remember that show? On, on in, uh, It was on Adult Swim, and I, I, I booked a role as this guy, Bruno, who was like a sex addict. That's literally all I had ever gotten. Then some national commercials, not much. And then this gave me some more opportunities because I was able to... Honestly, getting canceled after this was really the opportunity that came my way because then I met I had met Danny before I went on and when I got canceled, I was like, dude, I'm going to lean in. I'm going to do this YouTube stuff with this guy. This guy's awesome. Why I'm did gonna... you get canceled? I, uh, I wrote, uh, well, joking, joking. <laughs> no, uh, in, in, uh, when I was in college, I wrote, you need my big dick on a girl's Instagram. And then uh, she saved that all the year till like 10 years almost until I was on The Bachelorette. And then she put it on Twitter. And then that became a headline. Leo Dottavio accused of sexual harassment. So like that became like national news because uh, of you need my big they dick. Spun it, dude. They spun it, of course. But they, they do that with every guy on the show. If I had ever watched a show or knew about the show, I would have known that was going to happen to me. And it was also in 2018 mm -hmm. where like the smallest spark of a Me Too accusation uh, starts a forest fire. I, mm -hmm. I was in the the middle of the Me Too stuff. It was just like yeah, I, I was done for. But yeah. then so then I was like, all right. But my agency didn't drop me, which is cool. So shout out to them. But like. I did lose my job. I had a stunt job at Universal on at the Waterworld show, and I, I liked that job. It was fun, and I did lose that job because of that. So because he was sad. getting sucked by a security guard. Yeah, there. that too. But a then, check, a check security guard. But then check it led security guard. It led to this, dude. And you know, yeah. we've met, we've made uh, a lot of uh, amazing videos, and it's it's really what I want to do. And it really Jackass was the beginning of that because it was like I was like, this is the funniest stuff. Then I saw Borat, and I was like, dude, I'm, I want to do that one day. And then yeah, it led to this. Nice. Yeah, so you, you inspired me, Wee Man, in there a way. There you go. Hell yeah. And well, now we got fucking Wee Man and Poncho, dude. On yeah. the couch. On the couch. That's yeah. pretty awesome. So what do you guys been going? You guys got started the podcast together, of course. Yeah. You guys got a lot in common. Low yeah. revolution, right? Yeah, yep. low revolution. Well, how do you guys like podcasting? Uh, it, it, we, we, we ended up kind of like really enjoying it. You know, mm. we, uh, at first I was a little nervous about it and I would have like my note cards out <laughs> and stuff. I and had to he, tell this guy, I'm like, just act like we're going to lunch with these guests yeah. and Dude. talk to them that way. Yeah. And he's like, okay, I get it. And he was still nervous. I and, feel like if I, uh, at least if you get through like two questions that you've really been wanting to ask these people, like it's, it's a, it, 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 it's good. Sure. You know. Yeah, because you Especially don't know where the conversation is. Chatting the whole time anyway. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's sort of like I mean, when we do stand up and we're like doing riffing on stage, like I don't know if you hit the riff mics ever. It's like whenever you go up there with something planned to say, like it's never as good as when you just let shit develop. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I and mean, that's exactly. How, and that's how it is on podcasts too. That's how it is like um Improv, like I when I first moved to LA, I started doing improv classes. Like that was my first. Form. We're at Groundlings or yeah. something. Yeah, like that was like my first formal comedy training. And one of the lessons that they hammer home is that nothing that you think of and put together in your head that happened like a couple seconds ago, like oh he said this, oh I need to make a joke, come back to that. Let me think. That joke you come up with will never be as funny as listening to what is said and then responding to it in the moment, yeah, like directly. Exactly. Like mm -hmm. that, just following That's the conversation natural. organic. That's exactly. that's natural. That said, I have circled back to pussy like four times this podcast. I can't get off the pussy. <laughs> no, like, and uh, his uh, cock. And Leo's and uncircumcised, God, filthy cock, Italian dude. windsock. <laughs> it's strange that he loves it so much. I said that it's got so much extra foreskin at this last show that it seems like you've been dangling a five-pound weight from it from the last ten years. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should just cuddle one night and get it over with. <laughs> I mean, this sexual should, tension dude. I feel. I know. You guys should just get naked, mm -hmm. get a nice hotel. I agree, dude. Drink some wine and just cuddle it out. We cuddle happens. it out. I, I will See say that happens. he always tries to show me his penis. Like he's that always not true. Yes, it's very. I've funny. shown him. You've at, shown me. He's he's shown me his penis a thousand Not times. Usually it's because there's another person there and he's showing that guy, but then he does. I'm like the bystander <laughs> of the cock. But then like I do it one time and he's like, dude, that's creepy, man. Like, okay. dude, what is wrong well, with you? So he's obsessed with trying to show me like sex videos in his phone. He's like, yeah, look at me fucking. And I just, I no, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see you around, <laughs> dude. But then, I did that like twice. Bro. But then, like, so obsessed, <laughs> obsessed. 
the last time you guys argue like a married couple. That's the best thing. Man, I just want to say this. I'm going to lay out the scenario that he last showed me his cock, and you guys tell me if it's okay Okay, or not. Bring it. It was in a haunted mansion in Louisiana at 2 (laughs) a.m., and while I'm on the phone with my dad, this guy slinks up into a bedroom behind me. I'm out on the back patio, and presses his semi-hard cock against the glass and then knocks. (laughs) It was not semi-hard. Why was was it hard? He he, he, he was hard. He'd like like to think that because it was girthy, so he'd like to think that it was fucking hard. He always fluffs it up. It was not fluffed. (laughs) It was normal. It was just a normal day. It was, why were you in in a haunted mansion with a grotesque facial expression? You had to show me your penis? It was, Nico and me were drinking a little bit, and we thought it was a good idea. He was was lighting it. He probably got a little cuddle from a ghost. That's right. I think so. Yeah, fucking spirit. I presume that you got, I mean, in Jackass, did you you guys whip cocks out? Oh, all the time. That's like a given. Chris Pontius rips his cock out all the time. <laughs> and yeah. I like Chris because Chris has like, you know, it's like an average cock. It's not like, I hate when guys with big cocks pull them out all the time. How do you know what Chris Pontius' cock looks like? Because he, he shows it. it. He, oh, shows he shows it, it. He all does show the time. It. It's but a nice it, cock, but it's like, it's like an average cock, you know? Yeah. Right. I think Wee Man's cock is the first one I've ever seen on TV. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, yeah let's. Fuck and yeah. I really did get out of the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got the biggest cock on the Jackass cast? Chris. Chris Pontius? Yeah, he does. Really? Yeah. So it's a collection of, like nobody's got a huge cock. No one's running like fucking, you know. Yeah. We call Chris the What about Warhammer. Dark Star though? You don't know or Dark or Shark. Just Dark Shark. Dark Star. I don't know why I call him Dark Star all the time. Is he from the uh, He never universe? showed his cock. Yeah. He's never he showed his cock. I'm talking the OGs, dude. Yeah. I'm talking that's great because around us recently, there's been like a distressing amount of guys with random huge cocks. Yeah. And I don't like it. Mm-hmm. Like there's three guys that are associated with this podcast who come on and just have like giant dicks and they're just like <laughs> goofy fucking white dudes and it pisses me off. They might be doing something with their, you know, there's, you think so? yeah, there's a lot. I've seen a lot of going around. That's like. Surgeries, what to make your cock bigger? Different things. Yeah. But they're all broke. They're all dead broke. You never know, though. They might be saving nickels and dimes for certain things. That's true. Maybe that's why they're broke. Yeah, that's the only thing they need. My to favorite Wee Man bit was probably in the the stuff in Japan where you would come out of the car. With Japan the, was awesome. Dude, or a big, the big cone. Big cone. <laughs> big cone, dude. Come on. Dude. I've been to Japan like twelve times. I love that place. How do the chicks love you out there? Not really. Oh, the Japan the the OG Japanese girls they're very quiet and very standoffish. Hmm. I haven't been to Japan since like OnlyFans has been out and social okay. media and TikTok and all that. And I've noticed Japanese girls are a little different now than when they were when we were going there. So who knows now? Mm-hmm. What do you, what do you think's changed about them? I think, they've, less- I think they've opened up a little bit more. Hmm. When we were going out there and filming, they were very like quiet and oh, shy and very oh. like yeah. Yeah, it's funny that they're either like oh, oh yeah. or they're getting their fucking face shit on in a porn. Oh, yeah, totally. So yeah, they do one or the other stuff. So. Yeah, I've seen that was one of the first things I saw. It's hard to know the extent of the damage done to my brain from pornography starting to watch porn because I basically came of age at the dawn of the internet. So I remember being in sixth grade, like watching a poor Japanese girl get her face shit on by 14 dudes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and yeah, like, that's a whole different lifestyle. What bro. the hell, dude? Yeah, exactly. Oh, shut sixth up, grade, dude. dude that's, that will scar you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that was. I mean, the sixth grade for me, we were trying to watch like Cinemax exactly blurred out and with right. like it would like flash real quick of a boob. Yeah, yeah. Cinemax were, showed boobies. Dude. And you were like, oh. whoa, I yeah. saw a boob. That's enough material for a week to yeah. turn off to. Yeah, yeah. my dad wouldn't Channel pay 99. for the, uh, yeah, yeah, What's up? Exactly. Channel exactly. 99. My dad, my dad wouldn't pay for the Cinemax, but it would like show it like in that blurry. Yeah, yeah you could see it. And it would like come clear just, just for a second of a boob. I remember my parents lived upstairs, and I, I I would be downstairs in the living room watching Cinemax by yeah. myself in the mm. dark. And my dad would come downstairs <laughs> to like get a drink of water or something, and yeah. he would catch me. And he'd be like, Poncho, you stop playing with yourself. <laughs> stop playing with yourself, Poncho. I'd be like, oh, dad. What's <laughs> full, full disclosure, like I, I did a Skinamax movie. I did, uh, my agency got me. I was, you know, I was young and I did a, a Skinamax movie. It was called High Heel. Pull it up. Yep. I wonder, Pull it up. We need legal. to see a clip. No, I don't think it's going to be on. It'll be a Google. We gotta, let's go to Google. Uh, Poncho, you Google. call it Skinamax because of the sex? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Poncho, was, you got to jerk off to this for old time's sake. High Heel <laughs> Homicide, Leo Dottavio. I need my dad in the background. Just put Leo Dottavio. Uh, I'll only do it if my dad's in the background. That's, Leo Dottavio and Maybe we're going to stop yeah. playing with yourself. Go to uh, videos. Yeah, that's probably that first one there. 
There we there go. Oh, another age or two age restricted video. Whoa. Oh God. Oh, no. Why is yeah. this coming? Yeah. Skip. Skip. Yeah. Skip. Come on. Oh, come on. Skip it. Come Skip it. it. There was a gay webcam Dude, ad. This is not my stroke game. I was really nervous. All right. Austin, and we can't show this to the audience. Because Leo yeah, is having yeah. simulated sex with a naked woman. Yeah, that's thing. that's a porn star, Wait, Carter Cruz. So where was your cock, actually? Did you have to tuck Up it? His own they, ass. Put this, they put a sock on it with a with a hair tie. That's it, dude. Oh, really? Like a nude sock with a hair tie. Were you yeah. get chubbed? So I got a little got, chubbed in the doggy style. Of course, you did. Of course yeah, yeah. you did. In the doggy style, I definitely got chubbed. Did you get anything Wait, from this girl after? That's no. what I was at. That was my question i, I like i, I mean you get to this point i was nobody and she was like a she was a pretty big porn star at the time you were a pretty good looking guy though and Thanks, that's what man. i love about porn stars is how long ago was this this was 2000 okay, i'm hoping like 15? i'm like this is when 2014 what I jacking off to that's that's <laughs> i hope I not poncho but maybe <laughs> actually i'd be honored if you were jerking off to this it was 2014 <laughs> dude what i will say about porn stars that i've learned from living in la there's a lot of uh hate cast the way of the porn star but porn stars, more than any other genre of chick, are, like, very democratic with how they distribute their pussy. Yeah. Like, you can be... Like, our fucking producer, Austin, could be banging a top porn star next week. That's true. Like, they will give up some nookie to random guys. Mm. I've seen that happen a lot. We've Wouldn't you agree, Leo? Awkwardly long scene, huh? Jesus. Yeah. All right. We've Turn seen enough. Off. We've seen enough, dude. I haven't seen it. quite enough. That's all we needed to know. He's going to pre-play it. This uh, yeah, this, oh, maybe this will help feed into the rumors that we're gay, but <laughs> yeah, I was just I starting to enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> We've been trying to get Jenna Jameson on our show, but she lives in Vegas. She I'd is be sick. She has gone through some shit, huh? What has, what has she gone through? Well, she broke up with Tito Ortiz in, like, spectacular fashion, and, like fucking abandon the kids and I think it, had a, like a we had Tito on the podcast it seemed like Whoa. Tito would be a scary dude to break up with yeah. he was, at one time he was a, a really gnarly fucking fighter man yeah like man he, he was a scary he destroyed mother. people now exactly. he's like the most MAGA dude of all MAGA dudes yeah, in like an endearing way but yeah. he's like a funny like comical MAGA dude yeah yeah but uh, he's like a responsible guy though like he loves his kids and he like works hard and he doesn't do drugs or anything but mm. yeah she went off the deep end sadly wow Wow. But that would be cool for the pod, dude. You guys should definitely get her on the pod. Amazing. We're, we're I don't, but I don't we mentioned fuck her. Nah, I'm good. It, it seems like... <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's, I like she's, now. Married, she's married to a chick. Oh, oh that's, wow. That's like, that's she went the other way? Huh? She went the other way? I don't know if she was always the other way or she just did, you know, porn. You Girls know, like seem to have dude. the ability to just be bisexual whenever they want, kind yeah, of. Yeah, they you know. do. It also yeah. helps if but they're her, crazy. Her but. chick is really pretty, but uh, I don't know if I could say that more... more Duty. Sure. Yeah. Butch. Yeah. How butch. dare you? How dare you, butch. Pacho? You can say that. Leave I now. Know. You, can say you can't have a career There's in Hollywood anymore. Things. I know you could say things here, but you know, can you I, get canceled no, get for it. fucking can, stupid oh, yeah. can shit. I, this is going to definitely feed into the rumors that I'm fucking gay, but I'm just going to say this. <laughs> This I, is the third time you've said it. <laughs> it's like calling Beetlejuice. I think, I think being this bisexual. This is like calling Beetlejuice. Do you it really want to tell this story now? The yeah, gay demon's it. coming out, dude. Here it comes. Like, I... So you've sucked a cock before. <laughs> <laughs> you took the words right out. You took the cock right out of my mouth, Poncho. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I kind of like the idea of hooking up with, like, a really butch lesbian. Uh -huh. Because, like... It kind of feels like I'm like talking her into it mm. and she like resists it a little bit. Like, I'm only doing this for you. I'd rather be uh, eating pussy right now, but I'm doing it for dude, you. Dude, that, that's a normal thing. And I know where you got, I know. Did you want to bang that girl at the open mic that was a super butch? That was a little yep, too butch. He for totally me. did. I would get, that did. was a little too butch. He for me. did. I, I, I like I, muscular girls, though. I admit that. I used to work with a girl that was a butch lesbian and mm. she, she was pretty, you know, but more butchy. Um, and she had a midge fetish. No, she didn't have a midge fetish. No midge fetish. <laughs> but she was very open with like her relationship of like at least talking about it. And she dated nothing but hot as fuck girls. Wow. Yeah. Like yeah, hot that, as that's fuck. That's always the case. And she was always like, yeah, I was. Oh, I would get eaten. Uh, they're, they're, I love it when they eat me out. Sure. But when they're eating me out, I just tell them to suck my dick. Wow. And I was like, oh, that's, you know, like because. Wow. She, she just was kind of duty. She was a duty. Mm, to suck she was my a dick. duty? Well, she was. <laughs> or a doo doo? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard the word duty. <laughs> she was She was more dude. And, she, yeah, yeah. and th that's what she liked to think of. Sure. You know, maybe she identified as sure. a dude, but it, she's sure. in a chick's body. What, I, what, what I've heard I? is that the butch lesbians have ridiculous game because they kind of understand women so well. They can go and they don't have like fear. Oh, absolutely. They don't care. Uh, the fear of rejection isn't yeah, like that. They'll get they, another chick. Exactly. Yeah. They, and, and also like they can go to the lesbian bar or whatever. But what I'm saying is like they have ridiculous games. So. I, I will say, have you ever 
ever gone head to head with a chick in a bar? Head to head for a chick with a lesbian? Because lesbians are brutal. Like, mm-hmm. you think douchebags in the bar are good at cock blocking you and talking shit? Dude, like, lesbians will, will just hit the rage button on me if I'm hitting on a chick that they're hitting on too. I've seen that. Like all their hatred of men wells up. And then the competitive spirit of wanting to get that fucking clam too. Mm. I've had some brutal lesbian cock blocks. I've seen some lesbians be really aggressive, like make out girls too. Like they'll just like go and make out with a bunch of girls, like at a bar, like over, like all over the bar. You know what I mean? And like probably straight girls too. You know what I mean? Are they, are they like, uh, pretty like yes lesbians? i would say they're more like you know that like, the orange is the new black that chick i okay. saw a girl that was sort of like like she was like very very masculine the way she carried herself but she had a very pretty face blue eyes nice eyebrows and stuff you know it would look look kind of like a trans dude per se but but yeah mm. and she was cleaning up dude <laughs> cleaning up dude just cleaning up you explained her on every side of the of the mm. thing you're mm. like well you know she was like a trans, but she had really good eyebrows. Mm-hmm. Hot chick, but looked like a dude. <laughs> hey, do you guys Where like with going that? with that? No, no, with it's your all over podcast, the place, right? she sucked his dick. The other night. God, <laughs> I wish. What? Really? No, no, no. she didn't. <laughs> um, with your podcast, do you guys deal with a lot of like, like fucking just like comments, like shitty comments, like mean haters? Comments. Sure, haters. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it's almost every podcast. We uh, we have a uh, this this polarizing depending on figure. the guest though, like depending like, on the guest, I would say yes, exactly. You're gonna so, see a lot of comments about a guy named Rat Dick Ralph, who's yeah. just, who is just a drug addict who has nothing to do with you. So just right. be ready for that. Yeah, there'll be comments, but there'll probably be people pumped to see you guys too. But you just gotta keep going. No, because that's I, I I'm the one that does the YouTube page, and I mm-hmm. kind of deal with all the comments. And I, stuff I will say that. this, it's Poncho. Weird, yeah, I will say that podcasts, some of it is really fucked. Podcasts yeah. for some reason are a magnet for negativity in mm-hmm. the way that like long form YouTube videos aren't. Like mm-hmm. my YouTube main channel is very, very positive, but our YouTube comments are like a cesspool. Mm-hmm. And I know there are a lot of other podcasts who deal with the same thing where it seems like half the audience hates the host. Mm-hmm. That's I think that's like a common pr- uh, problem in the podcast. I, you know, I mean, you guys probably don't understand it because have you ever even commented on a youtube video no. As a, i've never no. commented on a youtube video in my life don't i don't get you like i've commented on like like friends like instagram page like, sure like dude that was a dope joke or, or like, only if hey, you nice titties yeah. right <laughs> I, I did kind of stunning yeah. stunning that's like, <laughs> you, he that just won't writes, get me you need my big dick on random i did girls write page. you need my big dick on <laughs> girls instagram one time i was drunk with my friends so yeah that happened but the thing is though like <laughs> i my big dick. who sits Watches a podcast and yeah. it's like, Bleh. well, I don't know. You know man. What I, mean? I don't know. Here's the way no, you got to look at it. That's the funniest thing. It is funny. dude. I don't have that much time in the day. The the moment I realized <laughs> that they're just really super fans. Like, think about that. If you just like, oh, I'm going to come in. You love that <laughs> oh. guy, dude. You know what I mean? It's like, you know what? As soon as I did that in my head, I was like, the hate's good. Bring it on. To be loved and to be hated. They're both still thinking about you. That's right, dude. We just yeah. had a friend of mine on our show. Uh, Chaz Bono. Yeah, hell yeah. And we were talking Share about some. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And fuck, the stuff that we got was like it was either really, really positive mm-hmm. or just really, really shitty. And mm-hmm. I'm like, fuck. About you two guys? No, yeah, no, no, not about us, about yeah. like the stuff that we were talking about. Sure. We, we, the we were able to like, mm-hmm. like really dig in with Chaz about the trans stuff and uh-huh. all that. Mm-hmm. And he's, and the way he thinks, it's, it's very like his way or, yeah, we don't it. agree with anything of that. He's yeah. very he's he's very opposite of uh Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner. Oh wow. Okay, so yeah. he's more, much more woke than you'd say or maybe. Yo, or, to, yeah, yeah, I would say it that way, you know. Sure, sure, sure. And so, whatever but, but uh, he was explaining us different terminologies cuz we don't fuck. We're fucking I'm like what's this? Like, I we're both I like, also don't know much about yeah, it. That sounds yeah. uh that's does sound like kind of a grading discussion, like mm-hmm. somebody lecturing you on proper PC terminology. Uh, I get yeah, why that we were, was. We were asking for it, so sure. because you know it's cool to be educated, but at yeah. the same time, so you can make fun of it on like stage, people right? People that watch your podcast and listen to it. Some people just weren't into it, but yeah, there was the real positive stuff too. Sure, but it depends on the guests that we have. Yeah, mm. I would say uh, there's one podcast guy I listen to who does mostly sports, and he says, "Don't let Twitter produce your show," which is good advice, and. 
I, I think if the comments start, like in podcasts where you just can't avoid negative comments, the best move is just to not read them. Yeah. I'll tell you this. Like, I just, I do not to, read the podcast comments. I read some of them just to get the tape. Yeah. As soon as I really turn that thing in my head, like the hate is good, I really, it almost doesn't affect me. You know what yeah. I mean? Unless something's so specific, like, you know what I mean? About, but your, like, about your penis. Yeah, exactly. But no, but, uh, who but like, cares? Who, no, no, I don't I mean, care about my penis. No, no. no. The, yeah. He no, should. He I, should. I, seriously, I, wish he almost, more. I basically never get affected by uh, negative comments uh, anymore. But, if, but at the beginning, I did because it's a, you're a normal human yeah. being. But I will say this you can look at the people at the very top. Like, for example, Ronaldo, right? Cristiano Ronaldo. His page, dude, his Instagram is 98% hate. You know yeah. what I mean? From all over the world. 10,000 comments One of the best of hate. soccer players in the world. Ever, Dude, right, ever, right. And hated. he's got the hottest chick, you know what I mean? And who gives uh, a... I don't that's think what he he's gives saying. a fuck, you know he's what like, I mean? That's what he's well, saying. Well, that's exactly. one of the things. He's like... That's cute, guys, but who but, am I going to sleep with? Yeah, exactly. Well, that, exactly. Ninety night, and that's then he right. shuts it up. Well, that, exactly. That's why it's fucking Bel Air yeah. Mansion. Yeah, yeah. Right, that's right, why right. it's dope to have someone like this guy on my side because I tell him, and he's like, "So what? That's good for us. Yeah. Of course, that is fucking <laughs> probably, great. We now, need that." Now, let yeah. me ask you this, Wee Man: How many times have you been hated on in person? Uh, not much. Not much. Exactly. It never happens in like a, in like a thirty year career. Exactly. Not like barely not ever. Much. We're barely yeah. starting five years in, and yeah. I've never gotten it once. I've yeah. gotten one hate comment in person. Oh. It was from a guy who was mad about a Kobe Bryant joke I made. Wow. So oh, the guy, only, did he, what did he say? So at a stand up show? Uh, I, no, it was on the street in Vegas. Uh, Austin filmed that video. No way. There's a fucking mural in Venice where it looks like Kobe. Br I'm just gonna say what it looks like. It, he, he's in a <laughs> it's very supposed to be Kobe Bryant, but it's somebody else. Well, it, it's Kobe, but he's in a very suggestive pose with his daughter in what looks like a hot tub. It's a really weird mural. Okay. And I made a joke about it and a guy who was like an LA guy who like grew up on Kobe yeah. like laid into me on the streets of Vegas. You can't fuck with like Kobe fans and Laker fans no matter in LA, what yeah. you say. You yeah. Can't, that, like, that's you know one of the I mean? things that I've learned in LA as far as like doing stand up is I can't do fucking sports jokes unless uh, like on Teams of LA, mm -mm. like there's really you're get, so die hard. You'll here, get you, could, you know you'll who get you who the yeah, only fan base. Fuck, you'll get hecklers. People will start yelling shit out. The only know? fan yeah. base you can mess with me and Danny do all the time. Dodgers, Dodger fan, the Latinos. If because we get a lot of Latino fans <laughs> in LA, we got mad Latino oh, they, fans. We do they a lot. Love, love it. Doyers, dude. The Doyers. Yeah. Doyers. Yeah. Doyers. You can't fuck with the Doyers, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait. So you're saying you can't? You can. fuck with I them? think you can. you can. Yeah. In it, like when they're at a comedy, show, they, they they always they're repping LA. You know, they're okay, repping but the LA. Is it a comedy show where it's um, fans from your podcast? That's going a good point. There? Yes. So, so that they might know be, you guys. Right. It's yeah. not like random LA right. dudes. It's not going. random LA dudes. Yeah. 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 We were talking about that because we just did a show last Friday where it was maybe one of the audiences that was had the smallest concentration of our own fans. Yeah. And it was mostly middle-aged couples. Yeah. And the show was amazing. Like we had so many great comics, like Leo and I both did great. Like at ha -ha's. At the yeah, ha -ha. I yeah. love but your shows at ha -ha's. I want to do, do more. Do more. You're going to be, it, I'd yeah. love you to put you. You guys go up as a couple. Nah. How fucking dare you? No. <laughs> the way no. you make it sound. No. The way you this dude. So goes I, mean, Leo, I fuck him on stage. Leo, we had a show, and, and you know everybody loved us yeah, and no, stuff. No, like no. we, we. If done... I was listening on the other end and you said that, I'm thinking like, do you guys do this as a couple? No, like, we, no it's no, it's no, not. No. Where we don't do that. <laughs> but <laughs> no, we're we're not up there like a comedy team. I host. I usually I like to host, so I host. Okay. Okay. You okay. feel the yeah. audience out. And but shit. but like what you're saying, Poncho, is like when it's not your fan base. And it is a, like, because I, I said a couple things at the start of the show that didn't go over great when I first got on stage. And then I won everybody back. But I remember thinking at the very start, like, this is the loneliest place in the world, mm. is on stage with an audience of people way outside of your demo who don't know how they feel about you yet. And you got nine minutes on the clock, motherfucker. And nobody ain't coming up here to save you. Mm -hmm. Like, that is a lonely yeah. place. To, and it's the same, like, if you start talking shit about the Lakers and some guy's like, fuck you, you're not funny or whatever, that is a lonely Ooh. place to be. And that induces a lot of anxiety. Absolutely. Mm. I, uh, I think, though, that Ponch could talk shit about the Lakers because he could never be on the Lakers. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's so true, it's kind of yeah. like, None true. of us could. It, yeah, well, well I, mean, I like to think None I of us could. You're right. You're right. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I look like I could be Russian or something, like some fucking Serbian dude. I, just, I, I recently did a show, and I don't know if you guys ever experienced this, but um, 
it was it was a bringer show because a lot of them I do for the D's nuts guys. That, those are all fucking bringers. Sure. And the majority of of the of the of the comics were all girls. Ooh. But Ooh. new girls. Mm. Like it was their first show. Okay, that like sounds they, excruciating. Like, That's a tough. It, don't mean to be it, sexist, it like, but no, it was yeah. fifteen girls. And then, uh, and then he had me headline. So fifteen so, girls in the audience. No, or, fifth, no, not 15. It was like 11 girls, oh, 11 and then comics, you. and then me and one other dude wow. at, at the end. And wow. it was really brutal to sit through oh. just because of most of them, maybe three of them were good, but the other ones were just, it was so hard to fucking sit through it. Yeah, right. it's, it, it seems to be, like some girls are like super funny, but mm-hmm. there, there's definitely, we've had it a couple times lately where chicks will... Ah. Well, the, the problem. This is our problem. We can't find enough girls to put up. You know what I mean? Because there's just not a lot of them. So it's like they, sometimes we'll hit up all the, the regulars. They say no. So we put up a girl that's like down to bring some people that wants to try stand up. And then yeah, it doesn't go well. And then you know, um, the, a couple of them cried. Uh, you know, and, and I get it. Well, that I was because it. what you did in the party. That is not true. <laughs> uh, I get it. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a tough gig, man. It's a tough gig. It is. That's the thing about being a guy is we are we're so like ego driven and our success with women financially depends on our ability to go out there and hunt. And we hunt with punchlines. Yeah. Every fucking joke we tell that lands is a successful shot with a bow and arrow and an elk. And when women don't have that motivation, <laughs> when women don't need to go up there and have a successful career to find a mate, it's just so easy to quit because I mean I'm not gonna say I I have eaten shit on fucking oh, stage. Oh me too, especially in the beginning. Just me too. Shit. Shit. I, I oh, mean yeah. we've all eaten fucking shit, but then like we after wanting to kill ourselves because you really the stench of a like you hate yourself after a bad bomb. But then the next morning it's easier for us to get up and do it again. I think. Absolutely, Jason. Have you ever eaten shit at like being at one of Steve O's shows with one of your stories and stuff where it's like where you're like fuck no, but um. No. Nice. It's well, it, when you have your fans, nice. it's gotta be yeah. like it's that's a dream come true. Well, Two thousand jackass fans? Oh. You, it's that and then it it's <sighs> the stories I have. I, I can make old people laugh. You know, what I, I love mean? that. And he's comfortable. And they're all jackass stage. stories. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, no, they're life stories. Okay. Too. Life stories. Like too. I okay. could tell life stories. And people I thought like, with the jackass people, they want to hear like, oh, what happened behind the scenes? They want to hear those. Yeah. But they also want to hear even like real life stories. They want to hear like that. We're real. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? We're not just superheroes. We're actual people, you mm-hmm. know? How many so. how many times do you think you've been on stage doing stand up? Oh Jesus, I can't even count. So a lot, right, so a lot. Yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. I think it probably helps too, and this has helped me a little bit that we're not starting out as complete anonymous open micers who are measuring themselves based on every joke they tell. Oh, I don't measure myself at all, and that's I why come, you're successful. I come out there and I'm just like, whatever happens, happens. And yeah, yeah but here, here's the thing too. I've been to a show, one of Jay Davis's shows, where mm-hmm. he'll have like headliners and, and like really good comics and then he'll put up like a super top-notch influencer chick that's a comedian sure and she'll just go up there and bomb oh yeah like everyone will do good and she will just bomb but she looks so good Mm. that he's just like you gotta have a hot chick up there where's the fine line though like the yeah all these people are paying money yeah yeah i feel bad when when people pay money at the haha to be honest we give away about 85 percent of the tickets so it's like they're coming for free. They're gonna have to buy the two drinks or whatever. Yeah, but absolutely. whatever happens, happens. And if yeah. da- you know Danny wants to get hammered and pull a chick on stage and make her flash, the I crowd, don't get hammered at the show. No, I'm kidding. You didn't get hammered at the show, but you. I'm saying the the girl was hammered. You you had the the girl came up and showed her titties. That, I mean, you had some titties. I was at an stage. open mic and some and that I'm not gonna mention her name, but mm-hmm. we were at an open mic at the Fourth Wall Cafe at like eight o'clock, mm-hmm. and there was this. Ch- comedian checked out started bragging about how beautiful her tits are oh wow nice and then and someone one of the, the dudes was like prove it and oh. she's like okay i only do it once and she showed her tits oh how my were they god they're actually really nice so she she talked the talk and walked the walk they Hell were yeah. really, really flash nice. the flash boys boys they were nice <laughs> dude i'm gonna get her name after yeah that. fucking leo keep him away she actually yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, nah. danny too dude she's how many had really nice tits that's that's all i gotta say that's yeah. cool. what do you that, consider that nice tits Huh? What do you consider nice tits? That's true. This is a there's Let's a category because yeah. it could be giant sloppy ones. Those are great tits like to a, some people. Like yeah. a nice big C cup. 
Okay. Well, a nice big. What's C-cut? the areola? That's my like. favorite With too. Really nice nipples, like not huge areolas. Right. Pepperonis. Yeah, yeah. Pepperonis. like little yeah. pink nipples. Yeah. Or areolas, yeah. Like, yeah. but like just kind of perky, but like not saggy because yeah. she was young. You mm-hmm. know? Hell yeah, that's mm-hmm. a fucking amazing. Yeah. That's what I love about the fourth wall. And actually, I want to do my main channel is like vlog based, and I do sort of like research projects and like semi documentaries. I really want to do one. In Thanks the next for having month. us on your side channel. That's awesome. Uh-huh. Well, I, <laughs> we didn't know that. We're, we're like the side chicks. Well, we, well, we want to get, I mean, it would be, it's cool. Don't tell anybody about you this. You guys again. have a podcast, so being on ours, hopefully, you know, we get some people that want to listen to yours. Absolutely. But, but if you, I, we would be honored if you guys wanted to do something for the main channel. I'm yeah. sure Danny would have, dude, he's probably got 50 bits for you guys in his head right now. If you if you guys want to do some YouTube shit. Oh, is that where you guys do the fucking roller exactly. blade, punch somebody? Yeah, yeah exactly. That's snow stuff. goggles yeah, and something. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. That's where that's, that's where we get most thing. of the pussy. That's your jackass. That's our jackass. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, exactly. Got it. But I want to do a video on the fourth wall. I, I and I want to follow a couple of the comedians there because some of them fascinate me. The people who have been doing it for like twenty years. Like who? Like Ian Roos, Ira Russo. He would yes. be a fascinating character. He would be great. I, yeah. I like how you immediately knew who would be like super fascinating. Did you make his comic list? I don't like think so. Like the best hundred? I doubt it. No, he does a comic list every year. The best hundred that he's seen in yeah. L.A. And yeah, yeah. And like maybe a quarter of them aren't even really comedians. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they, they do the a couple fuck? of mics. Guy, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would like to do him, but it's I also still funny people though. I, some of them are just like like huge comics too. I don't know if it's supposed to be up and comers, mm. but I want to. I'm fascinated by the vibe there because like Poncho definitely knows it's always like a hundred percent men or one girl who shows her tits, and it turns into this like Fight Club style thing. Where, like, we get up there and just the foulest shit you could ever imagine comes out of our mouths. Because there are no couples who are sensitive about you talking about their sports team or who came to have a nice night out and enjoy a glass of Chardonnay. It's all just animals. Where is the fourth wall? The one that I usually see Poncho at... Is the one in North oh, Hollywood? Oh, no. yeah, yeah. Oh, that, it's, that it goes to different spots. Yes, it's a traveling it's got two okay. spots. And the North oh, yeah. Hollywood one two is spots. like particularly vulgar. Got it. And it is like I just I need to like not only like dial document those live shows at the fourth wall. I want to go meet some of the most obscure fourth wall comics, and then I want to have a real stand up show with a big audience and give some of our favorite guys like an opportunity who have been doing open mics for years and years to like hit a real fucking show. And uh, like, that'll be the, the story. Well, that's kind of what I, I like about you guys too, though. And what I like about a lot of the comics, um, especially the ones I've been doing it for three years and started going to like the Hollywood comedy, the ha ha, all those mics. And I gave myself like a year before I even started doing shows to kind of mm-hmm. see if I liked it. Sure. Figure out my voice, what I want to talk about. And, uh, it's kind of interesting to see the dudes that are still in the game from when I started mm-hmm. and see the progression, you know, or the lack thereof or the lack of like, dude, yeah. like, or, or like the lack of like, you haven't figured out that you're just not funny yet. Mm. Yeah. And Sometimes, I don't, yeah. like, and it's a, it's a, it's a hard line because yeah. you know, like th- this is a fucking hustle. It's yeah. a hustle. Yeah. It's so strange. Like, I I was talking to somebody about this this weekend, like how much of comedy is nature versus how much of it is nurture. Like how much can you learn? And I'm convinced that it's very, very learnable because there will be guys that go up at our shows who if you talk to them at the bar after the show, like they would not strike you as a comedian. They're just like, oh, thank you. That was, yeah, good. Like, but they're just like the way they write jokes, they're fucking great and they murder rooms. But then again, you'll see people like you're referring to, Poncho, who have been in it for fucking decades and who don't know how to write a fucking set up punchline. Like there's just no form to what they're doing on stage. Like they're just talking and nothing is even like smile uh, arousing. So, yeah, it's hard to know how much is you can learn and how much is just you're not a funny person. And that's the thing about like even with like the like the, the show that I did where I t- told you it was majority women. Mm-hmm. Like four of them were really good, but the other ones were like really beginners, and we've all been there. Were you at the YWCA? No, <laughs> <laughs> and we and, and we've all been there, but like it's <laughs> it's uh, it's it, I I always feel with like the bringer show is like you're you're charging people to come, you're charging your friends to come, right? Everyone's charging their friends to come, and then they have to sit through a bunch of people that that were like it it it, it almost frustrates you it to the feels point where you terrible. want to punch something. Yeah. Right. It feels terrible when you choose. The Brigger shows, 
at the beginning are really tough because you're like, oh my God, I really have to invite my friends to this. I don't know how this is going to go. They might laugh at me, but nobody else is going to, you know, I was happy as soon as I figured out that I could produce my own shows. I was like, oh, I'm just going to do that. Then it yeah. just, I'm going to give everybody free tickets, all my friends. And then like, if, if the club sells some tickets, they're not going to know me. So it's not like that personal. But as soon as I figured out that I could produce my own shows, me and my buddy started doing one at like a, at, at a car wash, you know what I mean? Just to get those reps in. And I would just like do crowd work at the car wash, you know, with 15 people that would show up and, and get slowly that's better. Like further that. proof you're a Mexican and won't admit you it. You piece of shit. So now you do <laughs> wow, it. that's you do it. I mean, the show? yeah, I do that. I do. I produce one with Jimmy at uh, Jaquila's, this restaurant. Yeah, and, no, I did that. One. Yeah, that one. That's the one you do with me. It's a good show, <laughs> right? Jaquilas? It's a good little <laughs> restaurant show. Yeah, it's a weird name, right? But uh, Jaquila's. Wait, yeah, what no. was the on car Taco wash. Tuesday? They do it. Taco Tuesday, the dude. Car two wash, bucks, two dollar uh, taco. The car wash was free. Uh, a free wax sh- job and a couple punchlines. You know the 20- you know the Fashion Square, the Sherman Oaks. It's right next to the Fashion Square. It's like the Armenian run, and they would like we would sell like fifteen dollar tickets, and that included a fried chicken meal that they were making at the car wash. It would become a fried chicken place at night. And like they would have lines out the door. So sometimes we would get people that would come in just from getting chicken. They'd be like, "Oh, there's a comedy show. What?" And they would come over. And- Wait, where exactly? So car washes are usually like a little like liquor store with a register. You mm-hmm. pay your tab, you get your ticket, and then your car goes through, and then they dry it, and you pay it, you mm-hmm. go. Where would you be doing the stand-up? So it was like they had like an extra big lot in the back, okay. and then they had just some extra space. So it was like people had to go deep into the car wash into the back, and then we had a little stage set up with some chairs like next to the air fresheners. Car to get washed and shit. <laughs> oh, it was so, it was so late at night. The car wash was closed and it was just like a chicken place okay, at that point. Cool. It was a very Armenian shitty little thing going on. It was wow. it was pretty cool. Yeah. Should we uh I think we should wrap up maybe talking about because we've been talking about shitty shows, bringer shows. Mm-hmm. We should all detail the worst we've ever bombed on stage. Ooh, I'm down. What do you think? Poncho, you got what does one come to mind? I feel like uh, once you uh, let me to... think on that one cuz mm-hmm. there's been a few. Leo, I haven't really I, heard you talk about this. I got a, I got a big one. You yeah. told you mentioned one where I there were bachelorette haters in right. the audience that was it was first of all it was like i had done maybe right before the before the bachelorette i had done a year of stand-up so i'm super green obviously the only thing i you know i had a, and you I, weren't I, doing videos with me yet nope wasn't so even doing not videos much with practice you. being funny Can you let no. him tell the story because <laughs> nah. you're like guiding it through just let him tell he's him. my yeah, gay yeah, lover dude. What the fuck? dude yeah so uh so i go to uh, a bar with my chick and uh, we're having like chicken wings and this lady's like oh my god you're leo from the bachelorette and she's like you know i have a comedy show tomorrow do you don't you do comedy and i was like yeah yeah i do she's like why don't you come by it'd be great so i'm like all right i'll do it you know fine so i come the next day and and all of a sudden I, i'm getting dirty looks from like 40 percent of the audience it was like half the room was these kind of like not cute girls they were kind of like like kind of like fatter, like 40 year old women, no makeup on glasses. And they're just looking at me like badly. I'm like, what the what fuck? Definitely watch the bachelorette. Definitely watch the bachelorette. Yeah. yeah. What venue again is this? It was, uh, it was a place called tequila and it was like uh, spelled in a weird way. It was in Sherman Oaks at the time. It's gone now. It did it, it have just, a stage? It didn't have a stage. It was just like a bar. It was a bar show. And it's, I feel like it's way easier to bomb at a show like that. Maybe oh, yeah. the acoustics like, are bad. Yeah. Everything was bad. So, she doesn't tell me. So a couple things went wrong. She doesn't tell me how much time I have. And she also doesn't tell. And then I, as soon as I went up, it was clear that these women were there just not to laugh at me. And then they would, pr- they would heckle me uh, about once every minute. They'd be like, what, what's your, what do you think about feminism, Leo? And I'd be like, huh? I, I was just like so green. I didn't even know what to say. I was like, ah, it's cool. Like, you know, I was like, what's going on? Damn. It so you were trying so to make bad. them like you. It's yeah. A, it's a, like, now I, I should have gone like, too Shut far. Shut the fuck up, you ugly bitch. Yeah, and, uh, yeah that would have been better. Because <laughs> Leo's, because <laughs> Leo's specialty now is crowd work. Like he, yeah. he does great, great improv oh, sets. It's, it's good stuff. And he, Father, and he warms up the crowd with their ice cold. He's the first guy up, which is really fucking hard to do. Like mm. Leo gets a lot of respect from other comics Thanks, for what brother. he does. Thanks, but uh, yeah, back. Back then, when you didn't really have a comedic identity, Nothing, I dude. could see you like trying to please them. I was, dude. Yeah. And it was so bad, dude. And it was just like, and I had my chick who I just started kind of dating with ah! me. And I was like, that of course, ended, she was nice. Ended. Like, oh, you did so good. And I was like, that's making it worse. I oh, oh I, 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 I remember what, when I bombed really hard. Uh-huh. And it was a certain joke that I did. Ooh. And it just, it just, it was awful. I, I I was I, I was at some place in OC. It was like a Rick Thorne show at some some bar that opened up, and um, it was mostly white people and then 
one black chick, <laughs> one black woman that was like the like the like everyone knew her, and okay. she was married to like a white dude there. And I did some joke. What did I say? I was like, uh, I, I I said something along the lines. I'm like. Where I, I talked about uh, cops pulling you over. I'm like, yeah, you know, with my handicap pass, I can go anywhere. I don't get pulled over, blah, blah, blah. You know, um, and then I said something about, like, that they, they don't want to fuck with a midget. They, they, they don't want to fuck with a cripple. There's, there's no action in that for them. They'd rather just go shoot a black dude. Oh, my oh. God. But I did this joke in front of my black comic friends, and I asked them. They're like, you're not shitting on black people. You're, you're shitting not. on a cop. Exactly, right. yeah. But black... But the black women are different. Yes, black are. women think about it like they think of their kid. Yeah. They think of their husband, their sure, brother, yeah. their dad, or whatever. And it got so fucking quiet in there. And then when I was doing my short bus stuff, like talking about like how I, I should have been on the short bus. Sure. And Very then, funny. Yeah. It, which is fucking funny, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, they were not feeling that. And I thought, like, maybe they had kids that might have been, right. like, on the spectrum. It, it was just <laughs> bombing, just, like, bombing. Yeah. Like, no laughs, like, zero laughs. Just zero laughs That's, after that other one. Yeah. Damn. Like, and it was just because, uh, you know, it just, but it was, yeah, it was, you're green. You're yeah, green. You're green, right. When you first start, you're trying to be more shocking than funny. Right. Yeah. And totally. then you're, you don't know how to create a joke. And totally. You're yeah. doing these fucking mics at the fourth wall where you, you can get away with that shit. You can just and then say you go like, do it in front of like. You can just audience. like say the N word and the d room will die at the fourth <laughs> wall. Like, <laughs> fourth and like wall, you, sure. you do develop Whoa. bad habits. You do develop Whoa. bad habits. It's there. crazy. I, I'm exaggerating. Not, that's, actually, that's an exaggeration. Uh, yeah, yeah. I actually but seen these bakers feel But the F word that rhymes with maggot, you can say that one in there. And like, it'll kill. Like, it's. That one kills. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I, uh, I actually, I, there's funny. It's funny because there's com comics that are different from all over. But I, at the fourth wall, there's these mm -hmm. group of comics that show up, and they're from Bakersfield, and they fucking thrown away. They thrown out the N word. Like, really? Where yeah. everyone's just like, oh shit. Yeah. Like, and Joe's like, Joe Manente will go up and be like, hey, good set, man. You should probably not say, say that yeah. one yeah, for the yeah, show, yeah. you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's got to be, it's tough now. But like, I mean, Louis C.K. had some genius bits using it. But obviously, it's got to be a, a really smart bit. And I don't think you could even do it now. I think it's worth past the point where you it. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it. Agree. The payback, yeah, it's not. Agree. Right. But You're I, worse. I, I think, though, Poncho, that joke, it was not too offensive. It was a too sensitive of a crowd. I will blame the audience. Even it, if, you... if they just took one thing out of it, shooting a black dude, and that's it. They yeah. didn't even listen. Oh, when, once I said that, the rest of the joke they didn't even matter. Yeah, the target of the joke is police brutality, not black people. Yeah. So that's I don't think you committed a foul. My worst bomb was um, was definitely when it was at Jimmy's show. <laughs> I was there. Jimmy, Jimmy Shin. Jimmy uh, Drax, okay. Drax, okay. Drax. Okay. Jimmy, remember okay. we had? I don't know if you ever did the one across from Jaquilia's We're in that uh, outdoor space. We're getting that one back on Thursdays. We'll get you on that one too. Yeah. So that this show is outdoors, and it, it has possibly the worst acoustics for any comedy show ever. Mm. Laughs just disappear into the ether. There's no roof. There's no real walls. And so when you're on stage, nothing gives you confidence and momentum like laughter. It's um, it's fucking like I don't know fuel or yeah, fucking no. Mountain Dew to a fat yeah. kid. You can't hear any of that, so it's already hard enough. And I started out, I was going like real over the top, like real physical, just fucking committing to my bit, like talking shit to the neighbors and the apartments above us. Oh and, my god! And but like in a funny way, like people <laughs> liked it. But then like one chick who was just like a hot. Girl who like a girl who came to LA just to be a hot girl. She's like, I'm hot. Like, I, yeah, I can make money in LA. I'm Only fans. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. She comes out and like they don't understand that like the show isn't about them. Like they think that they can just talk to the comics and like they should have like all the laughter and attention should be on them because they're a hot 22 year old in the front row. So she is like starts talking shit to me. And like, I, I don't want to, I don't know how to deal with a heckler yet, which I mean, I still have a lot to learn. I'm sure, I'm sure I'm still gonna have a lot of bumpy interactions with hecklers, Same, but man. she, um, like I, I try to like stay in the comedic energy and like keep the fun level up. And I'm like, like doing all this physical stuff, like rolling oh, around on the ground and, and she's just being mean, like just fucking mean. 
And like, yeah. like I'll be like, huh, huh, well, you know, like, oh, I'm just here, like, cracking some funnies. I don't remember what I said. She's like, <laughs> she's like, well, yeah, you're ugly and you're broke. Like, yeah, that like, kind damn. of thing. Yeah. It's bad. And like, I, and I'm so caught off guard that this girl can be such a fucking bitch that like I had never planned for the contingency that like Satan with a vagina is going to be in the front row. Yeah, yeah, that's tough. Like, so now I would just completely drop the charade and just say like the meanest fucking thing, uh, like in my head to shut her up like because she fucking deserved it like a hundred percent like she fucking open fire but uh and i even like called out for leo for help but leo was he was occupied with something else at the yeah, time with his big penis somewhere <laughs> yeah <laughs> his That's uncircumcised right, fucking he, he was like he didn't lock know it where up. to put it <laughs> you lock it he was up like do i put it on the bar stool <laughs> 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 so she ate you up you got off stage and you didn't know what to do and like yeah just and like she, awful and how was she afterwards? Did she have the crowd? Did the crowd no. connect to her? She, no, the crowd, I mean, they hated her, they too. They didn't like her, but so like, that was good. But so I wasn't, but she took the attention away. Yeah. So they weren't laughing at you, either. But yeah, they weren't laughing at me, either, for sure, no. And uh, even if they were, it was like a couple stoned fans of mine in, like, the fifth row who I couldn't hear laughing. Yeah, so it. I, like, the, the rec my cavalry never came to save me. Because yeah. I couldn't even hear anybody who was laughing at what I said because of the mm -hmm. acoustics. It was so bad that all I could muster when she walked out was I just called her a dirty fucking whore <laughs> to her like face that. as yeah. she walked out of the <laughs> yeah, out yeah, of the yeah, fucking yeah, building. Yeah, yeah. So, hey man, we had to do what we had to do, you know. So that is like my all-time worst bomb and it just felt like my soul was freezing over as it happened. Well, since we man said that he hasn't really bombed, I would ra I would like to request maybe your favorite jackass story. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking the exact same I do thing. have no, it's not even a jackass story, but I went out one time at a comedy club. Mm. I just showed up to watch it and I was fucking wasting. They're like, "No, come out on stage." Mm. And I came out and I'm like, I said something funny that the crowd laughed, but I had a beer in my hand too. Mm. And I have no clue what I said. Crowd was fucking laughing, and I dropped my beer at oh, the same shit. time. Exploded. My buddy said it was like the funniest shit I've ever done on stage. <laughs> and I don't even know what I was talking about. I could see that. Dude. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. funny. And then, and, and then another thing, uh, it's not even being on stage, but it's kind of being on stage, and it's kind of the opposite of what you did. Buddy of mine went to, same guy, we went to a strip club, and it was packed. It was like a Friday night, 9 o'clock at night. We'd already been drinking. We're at a strip club. And I'm like, dude, I got to go. This place is too fucking packed with too many fans. Mm -hmm. He's like, okay, I understand. And I start walking out and people start following me. And as I'm walking out, I'm not even outside yet. People are like, dude, punch me in the face. Punch me. I'm oh. like, no, dude, no, not here. Yeah, yeah. They're like, come on, come on. I'm like, well, let's go outside then. And people heard. So I brought the whole strip club oh. outside. We're waiting for an Uber. My buddy's watching the Uber. It's like five to ten minutes away. People are like, come on, punch me in the face. And strippers are outside with, like, just mink coats on covering them up. They're like, yeah, this is awesome. Blah, blah. And I'm like, all right, I'm wasted. And I fucking don't even hold back. Boom, knock one dude. He's like, you know, <laughs> shaking his head. Another dude, boom. My buddy's <laughs> tripping out grabs me and goes dude our uber's here we gotta go yeah puts us in the uber takes a good and then like the next day he goes dude you know what even happened and i go no what happened he goes dude you emptied a strip club <laughs> like you took the show away <sighs> from strippers you even brought the strippers outside That's to wild. watch you Punch two dudes in the face. <laughs> I wish we had someone that for him to punch in the face <laughs> on the pod, dude. I mean, with Fez, maybe? No, Fez is... Nah, I don't, I don't right. punch anybody in the face That's anymore. Cool. Unless you're wasted in no, a strip club. Yeah. Right. This yeah. Is, I'm too sober to punch somebody but right do now. Do you have a favorite jackass story you, you want to well, tell? Can, can I ask, like, what is the gnarliest stunt you sure. ever did? Like, there what was the most, like... Because oh, we're geez. talking about our deepest, darkest, like, we're scared yeah. on stage yeah. moments. Yeah. What was something you did where you're like, fuck this, this is worse than any skate trick I've ever done? Right. Uh... We wanted to do this bit called the cheetah. And what it is is Jesus. you shoot somebody up with enough paintballs that the bruises, you look like a cheetah. Oh, my, oh God. my God. Well, Train had all the fucking paintball guns. Like, you don't even need to, like, turn paintball guns up on higher. If you're, and I was, like, naked except, like, a, a Speedo and goggles. No, no cup? Uh, had a cup, yeah. Okay. Cup, or maybe not even. I don't know. I think I was just Speedo and, and goggles. 
And they were they the guys stood in like a half circle firing line, and I'm like, all right, go. And like Dave England just lit me up on one side, and Chris didn't. And Chris was like on the other side, kind of, and he didn't light me up because he felt bad shooting me. Oh well, yeah. But they were so hard that the bruising like melted together, oh. and it wasn't like a cheat anymore. I just had huge patches of bruises because you could freeze and, those things what that's oh yeah you can but you, you can don't even need to like it even hurts, with dude. clothes on you yeah, get some, i got hit i got hit. a good bruise you know it, what i mean i got shot in the neck before. yeah and it was a oh, good circle bruise it, it feels like i used to play paintball as a kid it feels like yeah, getting like bit that. by a wasp if yeah. you get shot hard enough to dude. leave a big well so you were fucking just fucking but it's decked out tuned decked out and then the bruises i i i was like purple God there, damn. Yeah, there was no circles or nothing. It was purple and cuts and everything. So they just didn't use the footage because no, it didn't look like it was a cheetah. so bad, and I didn't look like a cheetah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the worst. Like, yeah, your gnarliest bit doesn't even make the film. Yeah, no, it just made like the 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 credits to like, wow, that that sucks. Yeah, because sure. that wasn't. actually would have been a really good bit if they used it. Oh, uh, it, it, like it. The cheetah, the cheetah would have been a yeah. bad one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jackass, it's got to be like the gnar factor has to be high, but then it's got to look great on it camera. It has to look rad. Like the one they did, I think it was in three D with the blob where people were getting shot up into the air, like skeet shooting. They were dressed like ducks and they were on the blob. Were you on, on there the too? Yeah. It was me, it was <laughs> me, like, me. Dunn. It's me, Dunn, Aaron, and someone else. See, that is a paintball yeah. stunt that looks but great. Dunn ruled it. Like Dunn got shot up and he was just like, stiff in the air and he just flew for days can we pull that up austin can we see if that's on youtube that'd be a great oh, way yeah, to go it out totally is. a yeah. tribute a tribute to dunn yeah. r.i.p yeah man. i remember dunn like he had like the ender in that segment i remember him going fucking big dude. yeah paintball right there uh, right jackass there. three seven out Duck of ten hunting. or what it's down one? Oh, i remember this dude Okay. It's not like Leo's clip we saw. Oh, man. Yeah. No. <laughs> I can't believe Wee Man saw that, dude. That's kind of an honor, bro. Thank you, you Wee Man. This looks so fun, dude. Whoa. See, this looks great on camera, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I think that was, was that Steve O? I think that was Steve O. Yeah, that was Steve O. I could tell. I could you tell by how his body moved in the air. He knew him so well. Dude. When we jumped, somehow I got under him. He got on top of me, and he uh -huh. landed. Oh God, that's that's so yeah. dangerous, man. That is, dude, dude. That, they didn't, they didn't hit the blob. I can hell. tell that a stunt guy would be terrified of all this stuff because they're all about safety, and you guys are just nuts. <laughs> oh my God. I love the duck call. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Who is that? What is that? Ryan? What's that? No, that wasn't Ryan. Ryan looks. Ryan looks all stiff and just stays in the air. Is that, do they have a mouth guard? <laughs> so they got goggles. I'm not sure if their mouth is covered. Oh, that was. Uh, what's his name? He's a he's a skim or a wakeboarder. Get done on there. There's done. Uh, Looks like Dunn's up next. Oh, God. Ready, see, sucker? <laughs> <laughs> this one's a gobbler for sure. Dude, that part is so sketchy. Scary. That's Double. sketchy, yeah. They can hit their head. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Um, that seems like so much fun. We have a guy we wanted to, to do this off with. with your friends like that. Fan Jerry, dude. I, I would love to do this blob bit with Fan Jerry. But to answer your question, Leo, they don't really have a mouth guard. They just got yeah. goggles well, that's on, That's insane, dude. man. Yeah. You get hit in the tooth, man. That's what wow. I'd be scared. Look He's really feathers stepped. just flying off of him. It's the best. He's got no control yeah, in the dude. air. Uh, he didn't even care. He was just going for it. Oh, man. that's brutal, dude. Wow. Yeah. Damn. So you did it too, Weeman? Yeah, but... It was Preston and somebody else, and they fuck. I I flew like ten feet and straight down. Like they didn't even blast me. Dude. Yeah. What do you? What do you? Th what was the most hurt you ever got on a stunt? Oh, there's too many. Yeah. Hurt all the time. Broken bones all over the place. Uh, I broke most of my bones skating. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So skating was what prepared you. I mean, oh, yeah, it yeah. prepared you, man. Yeah, yeah. You were ready to go. That's that's Good how time. life is, isn't it? Like something you'll you do something that prepares you for something else, and yeah, you never exactly. even knew. Yep. Yeah. Well, fucking 
this has been great. This has been wonderful. Have I you guys had a good time? I had a yeah. great time. Hell we yeah. We would love to you guys to have you back. I mean, you guys close by? You're, yeah. I know Poncho. You're yeah, close. yeah, yeah. We're yeah, close. We, 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 and both, we record close to here, too. So. We, we could be on your pod, too, if you guys want to do that, dude. We might yeah. have to. We yeah. got to do something for sure, man. We got to do uh, a, like a stand-up show or at some point or something. Or, or you guys want to be in a video, dude? Yeah, like that would, Dude, too. if you guys want to be in a video and do a bit with us, man, that would be unbelievable. I mean, they, you I know. Think do, I could do that. I just can't do most of the physical stuff because of my fucking stupid back. Pussy no, we'll have you yeah. acting. We'll have you acting. Both of you guys. I mean, it's going to be mostly uh, acting. Dude, I'm a fucking physical pussy, too. So, hey, let's take a picture after this, but if you guys want to plug your uh, into that camera right there, plug whatever you want for the uh, you know Low Revolution podcast. Check that out with Poncho and Wee Man. Yep. What, what else we got? That's it. All right. Just Damn our man. Instagrams, Poncho yeah. Molar P, and then hey, uh, I am Wee Man. Do you still have a taco business, Wee Man? Yeah, chronic dude, tacos. I got laid out of a chronic tacos once. No way. Which one? The one in Newport. There was one in Newport. Yeah, Superior and PCH. Dude, it's the OG one. Dude, wow. I was down there. This chick she with giant tits, like my fantasy girl, was in line at Wee Man's Chronic Tacos. I got a burrito, and she got a salad. My sister told me she was going to get a burrito, too, but she didn't want to look fat in front of you. <laughs> got wow. Her, got her info, and we hooked up that night and had sex, and it was like one of the hottest sexual experiences of my life. Well, you owe me a burrito. I do owe Wee Man a burrito. <laughs> no, really. It's been an honor, boys. Hey, thanks for having us, guys. Oh, yeah, man. Thank you. I had no awesome. clue who you guys were, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and I feel very close to you guys now. Fuck yeah. Not man. as close as you guys are to each other, yeah, but I feel true, close. <laughs> but you were, you were molded my comedic mind way back in the day you had no idea dude so thank oh, you nice yeah. thank you for doing what you're we welcome do, fuck Appreciate yeah guys a couple yeah. legends guys thank you so much couple legends thank you see you guys next week